I almost did forget to start the YouTube stream. Never fear. I didn't forget to start this time, though. I did not. Go me. Rip, astronaut. You will soon be missed. At the rate I'm going, yeah, I'm probably just gonna tear this thing into pieces. <laughs> okay, I'm excited for this. I'm excited. We're playing with all the DLC except royalty. I'm telling you how I really feel. Why no royalty? I just, I don't feel like it adds much to the game. Even though I know it does, I don't... I don't know that I'm exactly interested... <laughs> ...in dealing with it. Do you wonder where Emmy has her destructive tendencies? Okay, she is just... She, she's just bongers. She's just frenetic. George used that word yesterday in Discord and was like, yeah, that's the right word. She's just frenetic. From Simba. Yeah, you know what? Probably from the cat. And speaking of kitty, he just made a really cute noise. <laughs> he just made a cute noise. He woke himself up, made a squeaky sound, and then fell back asleep. Super frenetic video scene here. I did actually take a video of her being just pure Emmy chaos, and I forgot to ever edit it and upload it. It just slipped my mind entirely. I told chat to remind me to do it, and you never did, so it was your fault. <laughs> yeah, so I am very excited to play more of this today because what I really want to do is build. My favorite thing about Rimmeld is building and I'm very excited to build a library. I want to build a library. Wow, that was super loud. I turned my headphones up because I couldn't hear the music and then suddenly loud song. Oh! Was Mod Manager updated? Not Mod Manager, Music Manager. Was that updated? No. No, it was not. I just... I like the Music Manager mod because it allows me to skip songs and this is one of the songs i like to skip it's not that i don't like this song it's just this song makes me really sad i don't know why it just pulls at my heartstrings <laughs> i don't think that's the impact it's supposed to have so i like to skip this one shamer gets new dlc ignores all content and builds a library yeah so that's one of the things i'm most excited about from 1.5 is that we can build libraries now Super excited! How dare I skip this one? Well, I can't skip it because I don't have the mod. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the ones that wouldn't have to be updated to 1.5 to work, but... Yesterday we saw that... We had a bug. And it's this right here. Our ghoul, Flamethrower, doesn't have any melee ability, and that's not true. Flamethrower shows as having zero melee. But as a ghoul, they only have one thing that they do, and that is melee combat. That's it. That's all they do. They're very dangerous in melee combat. They do nothing else. Hi, Abraxas! Hello! Okay, this is not true, actually. They melee combat and they eat. They fight and they eat, and that's it. So, this is an example of, like, one glitchy thing that we're encountering from mods, mod issues, but 
It's okay because it doesn't actually disable melee. It's just a technical bug. Yeah, I do want to build a library. I want to design a whole colony, but first, there's a bunch of things that we have to do on the list of things for us to do. We need to research stuff, but that's not really going to happen because Asuka doesn't really have any intellectual ability. Ghouls has no intellectual ability. Flamethrower is actually a ghoul and has nothing except melee ability. And so we're not really going to be accomplishing much research anytime soon. So we're going to be living a little bit primitively until somebody around here shows up with some brains. Says is an enemy impet that fell from the sky in a transport pod crash and we captured her. She also doesn't really have any intellectual ability, but she's better than the other two. <laughs> and she's industrious and kind. So, at the very least, she'll research quickly. And also she has a, a minor passion in medicine, so that's always a good thing to have. Because Ghoul's Night Out has zero medicine. Asuka does. Asuka has a, a minor passion in medicine with a seven, but it's not great. These skills are very meh. But I just realized her age. She's young, so she's she's got some time to grow. Hi, Marinara Menace. All he can do is shooting. <laughs> uh, so I think right before you arrived, I was explaining how that's a bug. It's a it's a mod problem. Somebody somebody in chat confirmed it earlier. I think it was Auntie Graven confirmed that it was from the allow tool. Hi, TX! I found the answer. It took me a number of months. Ironically, <laughs> same number as my age. Coincidence? It took Jez you a number Jez of months. Jez catnip, Jez no, Jez zuwu, Jez innocent. <laughs> Thank you for the 42 months of support, TX. Thank you for the epic tier 3 sub as well. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you so much for the support. Is it a coincidence? Maybe. Maybe a coincidence. ASCII code for 42 is star. Apparently, Russell doesn't speak ASCII code. Oh! Hold on. I'm stuck! Rug under my desk is not helping. It's making things worse. <laughs> ah. I was hoping that would help with my, my chair getting stuck. It's just making my chair more stuck. Boop. Oh, sorry, I've been fighting this yawn. I'm just letting it out because it was making my cheeks feel funny. I said that I would bring the offline mug to show you all. You winners, what it looks like. Ooh, the offline mug. It's very full and hot. So I, I'm like, I'm trying to showcase it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it and it's hot, ouch. <laughs> hot. Why don't we wait till it's a little bit cooler? I mean, it's already a cool mug, but you know what I mean. The offline mug is now offline. Hi, Kershock! The mug is your new favorite coffee mug. Oh! That reminded me of something else, too. Commander Red posted in Discord today saying the mug arrived yesterday. I meant to respond. Boop. The offline mug is very cool. Just awake yet? No. I've been awake for like four hours, but I'm still not truly awake. Honestly. Which I was explaining a few minutes ago, but I haven't had caffeine now in, in a few weeks. Many weeks. And 
my Vyvanse doesn't have the effect that it used to because the strength is too low. So I am just groggy. Constant grog. Limited edition flaming potato mug gang. Yeah, do you think I should bring the flaming potato back for the dwarf fortress hot potato? Boop. Should I put a um a uh, a beard on it? <laughs> a bearded potato. Hey, we're doing well, Kershaw. Welcome in. We were just discussing where we're at with this colony. So a, a few things need to happen. We need lights. We need power. We need research. We need shelves. We're working on making blocks and things. We got the bills going for blocks. Asuka has been doing the building. Ghouls and Out has been doing the mining and the crafting. And nobody has been doing the research. <laughs> and we also need food. So, you know, pretty much we're just gonna hit play and let this colony run itself because there's not really many orders I can give right now. A flaming beard. Could be a flamey beard. That's adenosine. Sounds familiar. Finally working on the project you started in December. Better late than never. This is Drew. Adenosine is a drug that dilates the art arteries of the heart to increase blood flow. A dwarf potato should have a beard, a horned helmet, and be holding an axe or a pickaxe. <laughs> Arcania, did you just change your name? You just changed your name on us. Throwing me off. How about getting into tea? Less caffeine than coffee, but a marvelous variety of wondrousness. Uh, well, I mean, I've been drinking tea anyways. Hi, Lex. Welcome in. But I've been trying to kind of have no caffeine. It's hard. Does anybody else have this happening in their games where your ghoul wanders by standing in place for a while. He pretty much just... He'll walk and then just stand there for a few hours. But he's still considered wandering. <laughs> After a few misunderstandings, the 88 was the year you were born. It has another meaning. You decided to alter it. New name. Okay, wait. We're going to clean this room. You too. Help clean. I thought I- uh, no, I do have to sneeze. Excuse me. Alright, we've got to get cooking. And we need to chop some trees. Tree chopping. Cooking chopping. Okay, I don't actually know what the meaning of the number is. And Google is not helping. They bind to the same nerves, except adenosine builds up to make you sleepy and caffeine does not, basically. I do know that I am sleepy. Uh, 
can't decide who should be doing plant work and who who should not. Because Asuka has a minor passion for plants, Ghoul's Night Out has a burning passion, but also has a passion for mining. So should probably be doing the mining. Another wild man has wandered in, named Koark. We can't tame him. We need a seven in animals. The closest we have is a three. That's the best we got. <gasps> Somebody who has a burning passion in animals. No intellectual skill. But look at this. Construction passion? Animal passion? Medical passion? Social passion? Psychopath? Oh, I see. Thanks for explaining, Mona Red. I have not seen that before, at least consciously. Good to know, though. <coughs> Emmy agrees. <coughs> Somebody ring the doorbell. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> what is the building that has ropes? Quartering an NPC. Oh, so that is a holding platform. Something else I meant to talk about. Thanks for bringing, bringing us up. This is actually Ally, sorry, Ally, Dr. Purple. This was somebody that we were able to choose from in our initial colonist selection. You know, the, like the eight colonists that you choose from in that very beginning window? This was one of the people we could have chose from. Who was not a ghoul, but they fell from the sky. In a transport pod crash, we've had a few of these. A transport pod crash ca uh, carrying a ravenous hostile ghoul has landed nearby. On closer inspection, it appears to be Doctor, a previous member of your crew. Of your crew. The ghoul is currently in shock, but it will soon recover and attack anyone it sees. It can be captured to a holding platform for further study. Capture or kill it before it wakes. I actually landed right here on my spike trap. So now it's just uh, on the holding platform. Containment strength 96.8. I assume out of 100. This is improved by building stronger walls and doors, more light, fewer other entities in the room. This is going down. And special containment devices. Some entities are easier to contain in cold temperatures. Stop. Wiggling! <laughs> I am trying to read. <laughs> Why is it doing this? It's kind of them to wave it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that this was a thing. Yeah, so I actually think that that's a very considerate name change, Arcania. It's creepy wiggling. Yeah, so we're gonna put it in here. I'm I'm trying to make a room. The containment strength is decreasing. So we can also study it. We have no researchers though. So, here's something that I've been thinking about. We have two different research trees now. We have the main research tree, like traditional RimWorld, where we use the research bench to advance it. Now we have anomaly research. And I'm not 100% certain how we advance anomaly research because we don't do it on the research bench. Not, I'm not 100% certain. The way that we have been advancing Void Provocation research is because we have a tome called Chrono Horror, which is a book when read, that when read gives us research. It gives us 0. 0.3 research points per hour. Is the wall HP going down? 
you think that's what was causing this to, to do that? I don't think so. I think it's just being all flashy. Literally flashy. Hi, Dr. Sean. Nice, I'm Midori. Good to see you. It explains in the top left. Yeah, okay. Study of natural entities to advance this research. If no advanced research project is active, advanced research will contribute to the basic project instead. So basically we have to study Doc. Hi Gazebo, how are the anemones today? Wiggly. The previous name of yours had 1988 at the end, but moderators would think you meant you were a bot in some forums, discords, and Twitch chats. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. I don't know at which point they can break their bonds. It is every time... They strike the wall, isn't it? It's because the wall is... losing HP. Average wall HP. What is it taking into consideration as as the wall, because even though the wall is losing HP, shouldn't it... It goes back up when new blocks are revealed. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Shouldn't it go back up? Ugh, it, it is going back up. It was just at 69. Yeah. When they strike the wall, the game updates. That's totally what is happening. We're going to work on this together. I really like the new wall lamps. Torch lamps. You have to target this tile in order to target the thing on the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try to move you. Containment strength went down to 75 because the door is open. Seventy-five, door open, ninety-six, because door closed. Okay. That's something, isn't it? I'm trying to place this here we go. Hi, Jolly. Welcome in. How are you? So I intend on switching to, you know, powered light soon. For now, we're just living with torches. I'm gonna speed it up a bit. I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm just a, a a little bit impatient. And building the torches, I think, should raise the containment strength. Wait, 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 wait! Don't go to sleep just yet. It's ninety-seven. It's lit. If I go to reinstall... Okay, reinstalling an occupied holding platform will release the entity. Transfer the entity to another platform first. We can't build a new holding platform. I can make a holding spot. Not as good as a steel holding platform, but better than nothing. 
Downed entities can be secured to a holding spot where they will be studied. Increase containment strength by building a strong wall and doors and other special containment devices. Okay, well, you just... You stay right there, Doctor. Stay there. Stay there, Doc. I don't want to kill Doc. They were a previous crewmate. This is an interesting group that we have here. In fact, Asuka is actually the father of Flamethrower and also... Uh, ghouls? Yeah, Father Asuka. Why... Does she not show up here? Flamethrower Missy Tatiana, but... Father Asuka Flamethrower. Missy Tatiana, but she doesn't show up here. Oh, now she does. Uh, she was there the whole time. Top name. Yeah. Hi, gas station boxers. <gasps> the lights. We turn the lights on. We have lights. So, yes. Asuka is flamethrower. Flamethrower's dad and also ghouls nights out dad so what a happy little family we have here and then doc fell from the sky to join us so wiggly we got close and and i think it's extra wiggly is he lunging I think he's lunging at them. Now we're not moving at all. Maybe I should set this to expand the home area. Automatically. You wish there was a 9-bit large data storage. 16 seems so wasteful. I'm sure it is. Restless leg syndrome. I'm I'm restless over here. They passively try to break their bonds, but you don't know why it You don't know, but it seems that way. Well yeah, they passively try, but it also felt like Doc was getting kinda lungy because Asuka's nearby. Chills out a little bit. And then as Asuka gets closer. Yeah. Now... Now they're lunging at Asuka. Do they lunge forward? Or just side to side? They do lunge forward. Yeah, they're, they're definitely lunging at Asuka. Yeah, on the pond is visible. They are aggroed. I want to put them in this room right here. I cannot build a holding platform. Entity containment. Maybe... Maybe I'll have you prioritize studying... Doc for a little bit to see how much research this gives us. Then we can make a new holding platform. We're gonna have to transfer. I don't know what that entails. Hi, Spexy Vampire! How are you doing today? Can I have two pawns doing research at once? No. Just one. Reserved by ghouls, I doubt. If we finish digging this section, I think the containment strength will go up. It should go up from 93, 92, 94.
Just studying away. <laughs> I like this emote, Progener. I like it. How are you doing today, Progener? Nice to see you. Okay, the mug has cooled down quite a bit. Here's the offline mug. The arc goes all the way around the side. Doo -doo, like this. Offline. It's just missing Emmy in the art. <gasps> we got research. Ooh, more than I thought. 1.58. Four. 15.8% of the way there. Emmy is out causing trouble. I gotta sneeze again. I'm over it. You're good? Yay, Progener. Oh, I found the Necro Nor Mana Makan yet. No. <laughs> Why do I feel like it got darker in here? It got darker in this room, right? I'll just build more torch lights. Eclipse number two. Maybe it just feels like that because it's nighttime. Will Flamethrower go seek out this dead monkey? Yeah. You will. But we have to periodically scan the map to find dead. Dead animals to nom on. And we also have to be sure to feed the trees. You're having trouble capturing things. Your colonists do too much damage. That could be because of the changes made in 1.5 to downed target accuracy. When a colonist used to be downed, or just a pawn, not even a colonist, if they were downed, you had a 20% chance to hit on top of other factors, and they increased that to 50%. So, I imagine it does make it a lot easier to accidentally kill raiders. Chat, we had a food. Our prisoner is suffering from malnutrition. I thought I would have time to grow corn before this happened. I was wrong. I don't really want to harvest all these berry bushes, because then we're going to have to haul everything. We're going to have to haul them back. And it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. I think what we should do is grow some potatoes. <laughs> Hi, Jim Pestule! What are the horns? They're adorable. They're my... purple devil horns. How do you destroy that which is already dead? With fire. What if... your dead ghoul... is the flamethrower? Not actually dead, by the way. Hi, Kayatoshi. What kind of torture device is this? This is a holding platform? And this is what we use to contain our entities. Containment strength went down a lot. Oh, 
Why did it go down so much? Average... Oh! <gasps> I know why. I know why it went down. By over 10 points of containment strength. It's because this whole room is considered the containment room. And we had a whole bunch of steel. So we had a, a huge a huge chunk of steel walls. And so if you look at the HP of steel, compacted steel is 1500. Whereas stone walls are 900, wood is 195. It's taking the average of like all these walls, right? Average wall HP, 53.54. That's probably including doors. 104. Nothing is below 100 though, so how is it only 50 something? Average wall HP, 53.54. I think it is due to removing all the steel though. Oh, empty spaces, you think? Yeah, okay, I can see that. It's considering the empty spaces as well. A self-tamed panther. Panther number one. I cannot tame this panther. The average skill required to train a panther is... is what? The trainability is advanced. Eight. Minimum hand handling skill of eight. We have a three. Okay, I need another place to put all my rocks. Cargo pods. What's in the cargo pods? <gasps> meat! The mega spiders are stealing my meat! Free snacks! You heard snacks. Well, we got some... Some cat meat. In addition to a panther, we have double cat meat delivery. The reason why we're gonna haul this, know you're scared of the mega spiders, is because Flamethrower likes to eat it. I guess we could just leave it there. Okay, you know what? Just leave it. <laughs> so, well, maybe pull it out of the water. Well, we're okay. All right, we're taking it with us anyways. So we have two, two wild people on the map. We have Kin Oya, Kit Cute, 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 Cute. <laughs> A twenty-eight-year-old wild man, undergrounder, ascetic jogger. We can't tame him because we don't have enough an animal handling. And then there's. Coark, Winoroll. A psychically dull psychopath. Who we also can't tame. Ducks join the colony. Ducks. We just said panthers and ducks join the colony. What am I gonna do with all these ducks? Okay, our moods are very bad. It's because there's no food. Eat the ducks. Hi, Ceres! Panther plus panther food. Yeah, we're probably gonna eat the ducks. Wall HP is an average wall HP. You have a room enclosed in granite which is 510 and it says your average is 51, so it only counts 10%. I could see... I could see that? Or it's also factoring in the open spaces. Oh, 
Hello, Palanova. What if you don't want to ban yourself for a day? Then you don't have to. You certainly don't have to. Thanks for the hydration, Nello. We're going to go grab this meat after all. That, that was for a flamethrower, you know. The room is 6x3. Well, so it, it could be, like, the count of the walls and the doors plus the open spaces, which are zero, divided by the number of tiles. I don't know. So, like, this room is surrounded in granite. Sadistic rage. Badly malnourished. We were working on that. Eating up our prisoners. Wow. Go to sleep. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Just came in here to beat up our prisoner. from Because of malnutrition. Ate a meal and then went to sleep. At the very least, I guess, you now get a catharsis. I hope you're doing well, Polanova. Ate a corpse. Expires in two hours. <laughs> hangry confirmed. Confirmed hangry. Why don't we feed our prisoner? They are also starving. I I think you're probably good to wake up now. Look at this mood. When when she wakes up, she's gonna be very happy. So I'm gonna have her wake up and continue cooking. I'm just worried it's gonna all go bad. I'm worried it's gonna spoil. Or something else is gonna happen, and we only have three meals. Why do we have a panther wandering around the base? Because we have a self-tamed panther. Panther number one. Which I cannot tame. Well, train. I can't... I cannot train it. When to slaughter the ducks? Yeah, about the ducks. I don't have a pen. So they're probably just going to get themselves slaughtered. Let's see. Where's the thing? Pen marker. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna make this this thing a pen. I'll have Asuka do animal handling as well. That way we bring the ducks over here and then we can try soldering them. Yeah, we're gonna set you all to herbal medicine. Sound good? <laughs> I think herbal medicine is the right choice. We have to save our precious industrial tech medicine for later. Alright, Asuka is trying again to build a pen marker. Asuka has succeeded. And doing chores. Cleaning dirt. Cleaning the dirt is important too. Cleaning the blood? The containment strength is down to 79. Alright, we are hauling duck eggs. Fertilize duck eggs to the stockpile. Oh? How to know you... Are having 
programming bugs, you crashed the Arduino IDE compiler. Well done. There are duck eggs everywhere. It's Easter all over again. Wow, you just stole my egg. That was my egg. No enclosed pen. Oh, it isn't. You're right, it's not enclosed. Because this is open. Okay, then. I want it to stay open, so why don't we build something different? Let's make a steel fence. I will put that over here. Make a 9 by 9 steel fence. And put some fence gates on it. And reinstall the pen marker. To designate that as an area to store the ducks. Walked all the way down here. I don't even think that we grabbed the eggs. Do the eggs count as corpses or raw meat? Probably not. You put down a holding spot in your temple, which is 9 by 15, and enclosed in marble walls, and it gave you an average wall HP of 36. The HP of the marble wall is 360, so you still think it's 10%. Okay. That does seem to math out at first glance. They can be used as meat, but they don't count as raw meat. I see a lot of blood down here. Maybe it will lead us to a corpse. Or perhaps the panther ate it. We do live in the jungle. So, the chance of murder mayhem is pretty high. We have a lot of very vicious creatures. We have capybaras, we have mega spiders. Is this a dead mega spider? No, there's a cobra down there. There is a dead mega scarab. We have panthers, we have cassowary, we have monkeys and turtles and capybara and elephants and boomalopes. And rats. I think I've lost colonies to all of these animals. Vicious capybara. <laughs> Maybe... I think I've lost a colony, one colony at some point in time to all of those animals, except maybe the capybara. Going for a walk. Attempting to recruit says... Mab monkey, see what I'm talking about? Alright, flamethrower is gonna intercept. The mad monkey. Ghoulish flamethrower. I think I think you'll win this one. Definitely. I just wanna eat the monkey. Poor monkey, wow. Wow, Pijo. I'm gonna go back to studying Doc now because we still need a new holding platform. This one is getting weaker. I can make a holding spot. But first, Doc has to be downed in order to move them to a holding spot. Basic plus 51, plus 0 0.51, 3.13. Research tree is so large, I can't watch this happen and also read the tree. 0.51, was that 1.3? Yeah, okay, so, the number that shows during this studying process is the one that's added directly to the research project. So we just need to do this for like 10 more hours and we'll know how to make a new holding platform. 
<laughs> Maybe more than 10 hours. Probably a whole day. And we'll know what to do. Are you building something fancy? It sounds fancy, because I don't even know what you're saying. Cat meat, 41, has rotted away in storage. Need a refrigerator. A meteorite of slate. We're also low on food. Again, we probably want to cook some of it. There's also rice over here. This wild, wild man, a male Drasticiar. Actually, just just a car. This is not Baldur's Gate 3. It's stealing my food. Okay, let's, let's, we're gonna don't, don't steal my food. It's all mine. You can't have it. <laughs> Can wild... Wild pawns self tame? Am I sure that Ghoul's Night Out doesn't have a Necronomicon? Yeah, we landed with a Chrono Horror book. And two books on farming and crafting. Ghoul's Night Out is starving. Okay, we'll finish your, your meal. And go eat one. Oh, can be studied in 1.8 days. We have to... We can't just power through this. We have to do it in sections. A holding spot with ropes. Transfer dock. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna see if we can... We can move them this way. Because I don't think they're gonna last here long enough for us to build a new holding platform. The only reason why we have a holding platform in the first place is because they... came with it. It was free. For crash landing here on RimWorld. Transfer dock. Wait, can Flamethrower do this? No. Okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. I thought that this was going to be a struggle. Sorry for waking you all up. <laughs> I definitely thought this was going to be a fight. Nice, containment strength is 127. Okay, wait, that, that lends some credence to our initial theory. Let me pull out my calculator. We have, let's see, one, two, three. I assume the corner counts. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three times nine hundred. Plus a door of 160. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eighteen for the other side, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yes. So 23 times 900. Plus the door with HP of 160. Which is 24 tiles. If that was the case. The 
containment strength should be 869. If you're taking 10% of that, it should be 86.9. Hi, Anthoric. GG, I'm making the abattoir. Thanks. <laughs> I'm doing heckin' math. I am. So I think it's probably also including the walls on the inside, right? So this was five by five. So 25 inner tiles plus 24 outer tiles. 49. We have to forget about the Eldridge pores locked up. Yeah, we're just, we're trying to calculate containment strength right now, basically. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, average wall HP, average wall HP is 90. Yeah. So actually, I think you are right. I think you're right, Sarlissia. If our walls are granite, 900 HP, that's 10%. Our door is 160 HP. Average door HP is 32. We're taking 20% of the door. Because 10% of the door strength is 16. That's 20% of the door. 10% of the walls. And then the lighting? The lighting is a little bit different. It's lit 50% in the whole room. And so we get... 10% of that as well. So 10% of the wall strength, 10% of the lighting, 20% of the door. Why not try to see what happens if I build granite walls instead of leaving plain carved out granite? Well, because the granite walls are not nearly as strong. They're 510 HP as opposed to 900. I don't know what smooth wall is. Forgotten Eldridge Horror is greater than Eldridge Horror. Doug 3 has started to roam away. Well, I'm still... We're working on the pen. We have the pen. Someone just has to go get them. Studying the Void Monolith. Oh, I didn't know that we were doing that. Gotta round up some ducks, though. Prioritize roping ducks. Oh, here's the others. Here's... Some of them, anyways. Cancelled. Major break risk. Smooth walls keep the HP of their unworked form. I've, I've got one to test out. I guess they'll eventually take care of the animals. Just don't worry about it right now. <laughs> Let the ducks roam away if that's what they're gonna do. It can also be repaired even if they don't get an HP boost. Well, can't all walls be repaired? Like even rough walls? Oh, studying the void monolith is giving us entity containment research as well. Rough walls cannot be repaired. Good to know. Thanks for the wrist stretch, Dr. Sean. And enjoy the lurk, Nalo. 
Only clean drawers can be repaired. Ship to the stars. Ghoul starvation. Yeah, again? I don't know that there's anything else for the ghoul to be eating. <gasps> Just kidding! I found a dead cassowary! I found another dead cassowary! Although you can't eat this one, but we can haul that one as sacrifice to these weird trees. The harbinger trees. They consume corpses and meat placed inside their radius. So I have a dumping stockpile zone for rotten animal corpses and for raiders, basically. Raider bodies. We should help the trees. I've... I've fed... Uh-oh. Duck 3 was hunted and killed by a panther. Not our own panther, but a different panther. Mmm, new animal eating sounds. Yummy. A soft-tamed boomalope! This is great! This is great, Randy, but I could really use a colonist! We got a self-tamed panther, a self-tamed boomalope, and lots of ducks. <laughs> I could really use somebody with some intellectual ability. But it's okay, we'll put them in the pen, and... Then we can train our animal skill. Flamethrower ate the entire cassowary corpse. The whole thing. Okay. Well then, we'll also consume duck three. No more ghoul starvation. I love just watching this one duck be led on a leash. <laughs> Quack, quack, I love it. <laughs> Hi, Onamod. Guess we should make an egg box or something? I don't know, I, I never... I never do ranching. Egg box. Egg-laying animals will lay eggs in the box if they can. Your haulers will take all eggs out only when the box is full to save time. It also protects them from deteriorating, though it does not protect them from temperature damage. I mean, that's okay. Doesn't get cold here. ERB, JSUG? All right. Burb. Our panther is still tame, five out of five. group of travelers are passing by. Let's see. Says our impid prisoner has four resistance remaining. When resistance reaches zero, we will begin recruitment attempts. How many ducks does it take to fill a ghoul's stomach? I don't know. Depends on a few factors. I don't know how much food you get from just a duck corpse. But yesterday we did determine that their health, or sorry, their food meter, melee attacking a hive. Why are you doing that? Oh no, flamethrower, why? <gasps> why did flamethrower go aggro on the hive? I don't know. I don't, where's your? You don't have a log. There's no thoughts or anything. I don't. I don't know why. It's just suddenly flamethrower decided that they had to attack the mega spiders like right then, right there. 
Did he wander too close and they attacked him? Maybe. It turns out our ghouls can die. We might want to send some help down there. Because you're not going to win this one. As much as I would like to believe that Flamethrower is going to win this one, I don't know that you're going to win this one. They look tasty. There's a lot of good stuff down here, though. There's a gun? Another knife? Some packaged survival meals? Somebody that we could potentially save who has intellectual ability. They're a genie. A bloodlusty genie. Genies by default don't really excel in situations that are combat oriented, which is why they're not dead. Natalia is not dead for this reason. She's also frail. But genies are wimps, and they're delicate by nature. So wimps will collapse from pain long before they're in danger of death. On top of that, they're delicate though, so they do take extra incoming damage. And they're frail. She is frail. So her moving and manipulation is reduced, but that's not really the point. Genies are very good at intellectual stuff. Intellectuals. They they're also have some genetic perks for crafting. They're really great with crafting, they're great with intellect, elongated fingers, which help with manipulation. The frail aspect does take away from that, but... I think this would be a good colonist to try and convince to our side. She's old. I don't know what their lifespan is. Should say here somewhere. Life stage. 80? Oh, life expectancy. 80. Yeah, she's, she, she's pretty old. She's 75. That which is dead can in fact die. Yeah, so ghouls weren't actually dead. I was saying earlier that they're dead, but they're not really. <gasps> now they're dead. Bummer. I liked having a pet ghoul. Okay, well now we're being attacked by mega spiders. Thanks, flamethrower. We can keep... We give him. We can keep her until we get age reversal or chronophagy. Chronophagy ritual. Boop reversal. Chrono boop g ritual. Rich boop. Not your problem anymore. Oh, they didn't actually aggro all the way. Where's the other one? They fell asleep over here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to take him out, chat. They're sleeping, but I'm trying to- I'm gonna try to take them out. Cause look! The- the two- The two wild... Men... Are hanging out down here too, so maybe... Just maybe... If we do this right, we can... We can get- Get them in on the fight too. Maybe. They, they just walked away. <laughs> How's the anomaly? It's still pretty anomalous. Okay, now it's attacking. Uh-oh. The other one snuck up. Now that I think about it, we're not really attacking from a, a, a good position. That's okay. That's alright. I did try to send back up to help poor flamethrower out. That's 
Let's not miss. Let's go back up. Back up. Whew! We got him. We got him, we got him. So I also think that there is research that we can do. A few things. I believe that there is research to resurrect our ghoul. Synthesize a serum that can bring dead ghouls back to life. Ghoul resurrection serum. So we just need to bury them. I... Uh, do they have to remain intact? When you say bring a dead ghoul back to life, what if they're all rotten and gross? Inject it into the corpse of a ghoul to return them to life. The resurrection process takes several hours. Your groceries came, and with them, so much dry ice. Oh, wow! There was a time when your mason, your mom's mason jars were disappearing, but no, no dry ice. Okay, good job, team. We didn't even take that much damage, but tell you what, I also need you to rescue Natalia. gonna make a little medical sleeping spot. Asuka's gonna gonna do a rescue. We'll come back for everything else. The hive is dormant and not reproducing, so we don't really have a, a time concern on that. We just need to hope that nobody has a mental break. The only thing that will doom us here is a mental break. Because Ghoul's Night Out has no medical skill and is bleeding out. Little did we know that this would be Flamethrower's last night out. I wasn't expecting Flamethrower to just take on a fight against a bunch of mega spiders. All right, she is going to bleed out in eight hours, but I would like to tend first to Ghoul's Night Out in case she decides to have a mental break and she doesn't just bleed out on the spot. Wow, we got all three, all three things tended at once. Now we're gonna tend to Natalia, who hopefully is thankful that we saved her and she'll join us. She's independent. No, she actually is part of a faction. Hmm, if she's part of a faction, she probably won't join us. Chipped me up there with... By having... An ideology called independency, I thought that she was an independent... Traveler. So we can actually arrest her and... Convert her that way? Convert her to our team. Although if we do that, we're gonna... Not really make enemies out of the Civil Outlander Union, but they're neutral right now. I could really use somebody with intellect. So like, should we try? Should we try for it? She definitely will not join us on her own because she's already part of a faction. But she's got an intellectual skill of nine. Order a bunch of frozen groceries for delivery. Yeah, we don't get dry ice even if you do that. If you order a bunch of frozen groceries, you just get soggy groceries. <laughs> you just get soggy groceries. So I suppose there's something I need to check. Fresh corpses. 
Flamethrower is considered a colonist, right? Are we gonna- we're not gonna put Flamethrower's corpse into... Yeah, faction. That is faction. I don't think we'll feed Flamethrower to the tree, but I think we're gonna have to bury Flamethrower. And hope that in the future we can dig Flamethrower back up. How about this spot? That's a nice spot for a grave. Do they get the negative thoughts? My son died or my brother died? They don't. They do not. That's the thing you notice with hungry ghouls. They will actively go hunt the meat. Sometimes this means they'll randomly hunt the most dangerous thing on the map. Yeah, but Flamethrower wasn't even hungry, though. I'm not really sure why... Oh, he went all aggro. Is the ghoul really gone, though? They're... they're definitely dead. But there is a resur resur Resurrector Serum. Ghoul Resurrection Serum. I may do it, chat. Eating a spellopede to says. I says you should not do that. I think you should harvest some berries instead. This dude. How you doing, Pandorific? It's good to see you. you must have been the favorite son. Maybe there's a, a negative thought? If you... Once they become ghouls. The ghoulification process, maybe maybe they suffer a negative mood lip for that, but... There's nothing about the ghoul having died. Just dead. Also, I would like to say that I feel a little bit betrayed. Because... Part of our ideology is that rough living is welcomed. Comfort is ignored. We should pay no attention to comfort. Rough living is welcomed. We do not need to separate ourselves from the roughness of nature. But then if you look at their, their moodlets... Unsightly environment? This place is kind of unsightly. You're living in nature. Awful bedroom. What about comforts? What about... What about not needing comforts? And rough living being approved? We're talking about slept on the ground. I feel betrayed. Is a ghoul really ever not hungry? The question is only half a joke. I wouldn't be surprised if they couldn't tell when they're hungry. Well, we can't test it now. Don't get slept on the ground and they don't care that much about temperature. Well, so temperature is a separate thing entirely. Tough temperatures. Extreme temperatures don't bother us as much. Comfort is ignored. And rough living is welcomed. I feel like... That should mean that they don't really care? A about dirt. Or ate without a table. Okay, but haul these berries too! <laughs> okay, it's better than nothing. <laughs> walls aren't comfy, but they're pretty. No, why would you do that? That's not what I told you to do. That is not what I said to do. Uh-oh. The eggs hatched. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the eggs hatched. Our corn is almost grown. I think we should slaughter some ducks. Maybe I'm going to slaughter all the ducks. Duck six, seven, eight. Duck five. Duck four. Duck two and duck one. I'm sorry, but we need food. I'm sorry. Oh, they make such sad noises. Get it over with. <sighs> I hate the slaughtering. I hate slaughtering animals in any game. I just don't like it. <laughs> Creating a clip. Well, wait, wait, wait. We should, we should clean this room first. I'm not sure what you what you intended to clip there, Cody, but thanks for clipping. I was reading about food poisoning yesterday. To once and for all understand the likelihood of food poisoning. It's actually kind of complicated. It's calculated on a few things. First off, the cook's skill. They make such sad noises. Just... No, I said just get it over with. Just... Just get it over with. That's what I said. Egg. <laughs> so, it takes the, the cook's skill into consideration, and it calculates a chance for food poisoning based on that. Along with the cleanliness of the room. So there's those two checks, room cleanliness plus the cook's skill equals the likelihood of a meal being poisoned. Once you... Once you add a meal to a stack, it distributes the chance of food poisoning across all the meals. So the example was if you have a meal that's 100% poisoned and then you set it on top of a stack of 19 it will distribute the chance of food poisoning across all the meals so instead of having one meal with a 100% chance of poisoning it becomes 20 meals with a 5% chance and then there's some other consideration that has to do with like an invisible check as to whether or not pawns will get sick. So even if they consume a meal with a 100% chance to be poisoned, like they, they still roll a check against it. Does food type also affect it? I don't think so. Raw food and corpses have a higher chance of food poisoning by default. And you can't really negate it. It just, it is what it is. It's raw food or corpses, you might get food poisoning, the end. You can, you can negate... ...the effects of cooked meals, but you can never bring the likelihood of food poisoning... ...to zero unless you purchase meals from traders or produce uh, nutrient paste. Assign colonist. I can't assign this grave to flamethrower. Oh, are you forbidden? Yeah. I still can't, but we should be able to bury you. Prioritize burying flamethrower. So then all of these things now. Oh no, Coark died! Got into a fight with a panther and lost. Oh.
We despise insect meat, right? Yes. So I don't want to put insects here. Insect corpses. So the exception of my corpse pile. This is rotten corpses in this one. This one is fresh corpses. Excluding animals except insects. So we should move those insect corpses over there now. Hi, architect. Hello, hello. Good to see you. A rat self-tamed. I think we're going to have to slaughter the panther. Its tameness is still 5 out of 5. Where's Oscar? Grabbing some packaged survival meals. Feeding them to Natalia. Again, somebody that we could arrest? And convert to our team. She's just very old and I don't know if that's worth it. I do not know if it's worth it, chat. Hi, Wolf Concepts! Good to see you! Hello! What's new to our colony? They seem to have shrunk. Yeah, Flames there were... ...got into an altercation with Mega Spiders and died. So that was unfortunate. <laughs> what happened to the other corpse? There w oh no, they're still there. I just can't see. It's so dark. So we're we're down a colonist. Flamethrower. Dead. Died three days ago. Falling to a a dumping zone. Natalia's fully healed. She's leaving. All right. I'll let her go. We could really, 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 really use a colonist like this, though. She does animals and intellectual. And these are two things that we're missing. Chat, I want to arrest her. I got to arrest her. I don't, I can't let her go. I can't let her go. I've changed my mind. Hope we don't kill her. Oh, <gasps> stop! Oh my gosh, look at the relations! Relations drop from zero to negative 32 just like that. Will anger her faction. Okay, but how badly is that gonna anger her faction? It'll drop more if we arrest her. I know, but how badly? Like, are we gonna make enemies? Do it. A lot. <laughs> Much more. Hi, Arthen. Enemies, nodders. Oh, dang, we should have we should have arrested her. while she was down for other reasons. Assume they will go to war over this. I don't I don't really want to make any more enemies. Look, we're feeding the corpse to the trees. Trees consume the flesh. Being consumed by the harbinger tree. We even are making a new harbinger tree grove here. We're making a whole grove of harbinger trees. Rescue and then decide. That she won't join us on her own. She won't join us on her own because she's already part of a faction. Didn't I already tend to her? Do it again. 
They tend to take a dim view of their members being beaten, arrested, and kidnapped. Well, I know, but I really need a new colonist. I did say that we were, were going to do the evil playthrough this time. <laughs> Is it a Diplo hit if we ritual convert her? I, we can't ritual convert because we don't have enough people who follow our ideology in the colony. We do have a prisoner who follows our ideology, but they're still resistant to being recruited. Feed, no, don't feed duck. Don't, don't feed prisoner duck. We'll do something else. Stop what you were doing. I don't know how to tell them not to feed the prisoners. Raw food. There's a way. But every time I stop playing Rimworld for a while, I forget what it is. I think it's in their food policies. No. Our lavish policy. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Managed food policy. Our prisoners under lavish. I turned off raw food, but I forgot to turn off corpses. So now we should not feed our prisoner corpse. Broke them on a slab. Read the future from their innards and recruit as a ghoul. I don't know how to turn people into ghouls. Although I think it has something to do with stabbing them with a shard. A shard. A scavenged fragment of dark arcno technology. Originally created by a hyper-intelligent architect mind, this shard is packed with technology beyond human comprehension. It is capable of manipulating basic uh, psychic flows, including architect influences and more esoteric outcomes. While it is useless by itself, it can be built into devices that harness its power to produce exotic effects. And... Flamethrower... I can't see their deets anymore because dead, but ghouls are produced by shards. So theoretically, I think we can stab them with it and they would become a ghoul. But when the ghoulification progress happens... They lose all of their skills, except the ability to fight. Although I would be curious, like, if... A humanoid who is whippy, wimpy, and delicate became a ghoul, if that would over be overridden by the, the ghoul form? I think so. I don't think that they're traits have any more effect once they become a ghoul. A wanderer joins named Bing. A firekeeper named Bing has arrived and wants to join the colony. He's willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily, claiming to have nowhere else to go. You can choose to turn him down or send him away. And send him away. However, your colonists will be disturbed at sending away somebody in need. Are you already on the map? Can I just take a peek? I don't think so. Hi, Treble Queen! Hello, thanks for the raid! What is up? How was Rimworld? Hello, you're here for the cat. I have no idea where my cat is. Uh, but I think I have a dog. Oh, I, I don't have a cat, but I will... I will share a dog. The key's floppy. Thanks so much for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. I hope you enjoyed RimWorld. Were you also playing Anomaly? Okay, I'm going to accept Bing to the colony and really hope that Bing has got some skills that we need. The Flock. Animal personhood and a raider. Meat eating is abhorrent, raiding is respected, slaughtering animals is horrible, you're gonna hate it here. Jealous and bloodlusty. 
Does nothing that we need. No skills in animals or intellect. And now we just have someone named Bing. Rimmel was good. You has the anomaly. You're trying to strengthen your colony before you progress to tier two. Ooh, tier two. This is this is good though. Now we at least we have somebody. I forgot to set rescue. Cook? We have a cook? Oh wow. And a crafter. All right. Sweet. Don't make things fetch anything here, we'll get lost. Let me clear the name queue real fast. So anyone who entered the the name queue, I've reset it, you're gonna have to rejoin. The command is now exclamation join to differentiate from the fourth wall command, the merge giveaway command. But that was because earlier today we had a bunch of people who entered. Hi, Maddie. It's great to see you. How have you been? Oscar's in a sad wander because badly malnourished. Bing is also helping haul stuff. If nothing else, we at least have assistance. We at least have assistance doing the other things. We probably shouldn't slaughter any more animals until we convert them to our ideology. Doing well? Wife and toddler are out of town so you get the weekend to yourself. Oh yeah! Weekend! Weekend to self. That's nice. What are you gonna do with your newfound time off? You gonna play games? Thank you again, Travel Queen. I, I really appreciate the raid. I do not know where my cat is. It's always concerning when... When he is MIA. Like, what is... What is this guy up to? Game and clean, mostly. That sounds like a good weekend. Not gonna lie. even make you a bedroom. Your cat says hello. Hello, kitty. Thing is sleeping. You're being eaten! It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. No, I, I don't think Bing is being eaten. I think there's there's a corpse underneath him, but it looks like he's being eaten. <laughs> I thought that he fell asleep in this in the spot with the trees and they started to consume him. The harpenter trees. They're consuming the corpse below Bing's pawn, but the stacking of layers makes it look like he's being eaten. Oh my gosh. It is Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. Okay, well, we're sleeping here now. I guess that can't be any worse. And the tree is consuming flesh. Alright. We have a problem, though. The problem is... What do I do... About all these ducks? What do I do about the ducks? Did you hear giveaway? There was a giveaway earlier today. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, we didn't finish making the meal. Boop. Stop sleeping. You can't sleep right now. Just do it anyway. Just do it at dark visions. 
Gull's night out has been overwhelmed with horrible visions, rambling about things that only she can see. She will snap out of it in a few hours. This happened because of poor mood. The final straw? Badly malnourished. Okay, Bing, it's up to you. It's up to you, Bing. I need you to chop down the trees. We have the food, we just gotta cook it. Thank you for the hydration as well. We can spay them and just farm them fertilized eggs. We have one male duck and the rest are all female. Oh, they're making such cute sounds in there. Cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> Bing will come back with an animal belt. No, Bing is very anti-animal slaughter. Boop. I need you to clean this room. Oh, you are... still wandering. Maybe we should get these ducks out of here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's get the, the ducks out of here. This oh. pen is making really cute sounds. We might need to get our ducks in a row. Asuka is at least tending to his wounds, his ill- oh! His asthma went from major asthma to minor asthma because it's been treated. Interesting. You were booped. Hi, Char Junkie! J j junkie! Jumping! Walrus. Hello. Yep, that's- that's chat. Chat likes to boop. If you have been active in chat within a certain window, I forget what the active window is, like five to ten minutes, you are liable of getting booped. Boop. Once you go lurky, you're safe. The bot won't target you. So this is disliked food. Bing, Bing does not like food made with animal meat. Boop. I don't care. At least there's food now. And everybody's over their mental breaks. Boop, boop. Boop. Ghoul is visiting the grave of her ghoulish brother. You started it this time around? Boop. A flush beast attacks. The ground seems to be giving way. The sounds of writhing flesh and cracking bones can be heard from below. A flesh beast. It's a pit burrow. A small hole connecting to some unseen cave network deep under the surface. The walls are too steep to climb. It is inherently unstable and will collapse after some time. The finger spike. A fleshy, dog-sized creature with a single spiked limb. Despite their short legs, finger spikes can move remarkably fast. I'd say so, 5.10 cells per second. Finger spike. New research available. Your discovery of the finger spike has yielded new insights. You can now research the following anomaly projects. Summoning flesh beasts. Cool. I'm sure this is fine. Bing has got a poor quality knife. This is a n normal quality. Who has better melee? Neither. Neither of them has better melee than the other. So, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold this door open. Well, actually... Yeah. No, we're just gonna come stand over here. Hold this door open. We'll get Bing inside. Here comes the finger spike. It is definitely a flamingo. 
<laughs> it looks like a flamingo. Uh-oh, is it gonna kill my rat? Oh no, don't kill my rat. Thing will be so unhappy about this. Did it just implode? I think it just imploded. Like, it hit the spike trap and died, and there was no corpse. How do I like the new music in Anomaly? I haven't really heard too much of it. There was that one tune that just played there for a second. But the little bit that I've heard... I just appreciate a new soundtrack in general. I didn't actually realize that there was going to be a new soundtrack. Can't center the research bench. I can't if I put it this way. Oh no, rat one has died. Blood loss has caused the rat to expire. But guess what? The thing doesn't have anything to say about that. No complaints whatsoever. Slaughtering animals is horrible, but if they are slaughtered by finger spike whores, we don't care. One less animal to feed. You still have me rage quitting Solentre's game bookmarked. <laughs> Which... When did I rage quit? I don't... I never rage quit. No proof. No proof. Do we ever deal with this duck? No. Duckling number one. Because we need a medical bed. Medical animal sleeping spot. <laughs> oh, from the game jam. Hi, shock value. Hi, Krumpus. Yeah, here you go. Now, now you can now you can post. Yeah, I I did rage quit that. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Who destroyed this hive, by the way? Because I don't I don't think I did. Did I do that? I don't think so. Lung rot. Bing has gotten sick from lung rot due to long-term exposure to something something. I clicked it and it went away. Whoops. Wrong button. Due to long-term exposure to rot stink gas. Were you just hanging out over here? What were you doing? There's an entire map that you could have been doing anything else in and you went and got lung rot? From standing too close to this corpse. Yeah, I, I forgot all about... about this game jam day. All the kids are doing it. Yeah, we're gonna need some medical beds. For now, how about medical sleeping spots? It's getting worse because it's going untended. Dr. Asuka, taking care of Bing. I am gonna switch to herbal medicine though. Duck meat rotted away in storage. Ah, not the duck meat. Okay, now it's, now it's getting better. We definitely do not want Bing's lungs to rot away because that sounds awful. That actually sounds horrible. I'm also very sorry about beating you up. I'm sorry that we did that. 
We rescued her from mega spiders. Nursed her back to health, and on the way out the door, I decided to beat her with a shotgun. Which... Angered... The Civil Outlander Union. And I did this because I wanted to recruit her. But then chat informed me that if I were to arrest somebody from a neutral faction, that it would anger them to the point of... Possibly leading to war. War might be declared over over such an action. So we're letting her go. Hopefully when she escapes the map, we'll get some goodwill. One can only hope. Oh, look at that. Let's actually make steel doors. Yeah, let's let's make these out of steel. I have tons of steel, not enough wood. So now that we have an extra colonist, we can spare a little bit of labor, like making a drumroll windmill. We have components and everything. We just gotta build the thing. We've just gotta build it. And chat, you're right, the smooth granite was 900 HP still. So we could smooth the walls. Some goodwill on a searing review on Rimworld maps. We got 19 goodwill for tending to her and sending her on her way. So we, we recovered some of that. Could have been worse. Could have been better. We could have just not have beaten her in the first place and taken the goodwill. And we'd actually have a positive amount of goodwill. This is maybe why we don't play evil. Where is the smoothing button? I can never find it. Smooth service. I'm going to whoops, smooth up through here. That way I can replace the, the uh, wall torches with regular lights. Despite there not being any light in here, the containment strength is actually still pretty high. 122. We're also going to need a bed. I can't, I can't just make a, like a steel bed, right? Yeah, I can. This is my jam. That's why we have chat to help. It's true, that's why we have chat. Let's call it cultural differences. You think my tactics on making new friends <laughs> are expected. <laughs> no one is evil. True evil players think they play good. I mean, is this just like a skill issue type of good or morality issue type of good? All right, let's give Bing a name. You've had long enough to join the name queue. I'm going to pick a name right now. Panderific. Spell this right. There's two R's. One, one F. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to the colony. Smoothing things. That was not even the thing I wanted to smooth. We're smoothing the floors first. I can actually wait. Is this the new Rimmel DLC? What's the stuff? The stuff. Yeah, this is the new Rimmel DLC. Mm-hmm. And also... The update to 1.5. It is... Horror. Horror-focused. 
adventure. Okay, we're actually gonna build these here. I definitely think it's time to expand the walls, though. It's time to expand the walls. Let's start by building that section, and then I might just wall off around the, the river. Although, this is all very soggy! I need... Yeah. Well, I would like to wall off around the river, but it's... it's... it's soggy. Look how soggy it is. We'll have to build it like this. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't expect you just to get right to it. It's gonna go like this. And I need a place to put a door. That's a nice spot for a door. I think I'll put it there. And then we're gonna need a spot over here for a door as well. About there. And then the last spot for a door... I don't know. Right here. Seems good. Horror? Horror. We even have a little tentacle emote. Tentacles. Flesh beasts from the void. Ghouls and dark books and trees that feed on corpses so far. Yeah, we've had we've had ghouls. We've had a flesh monster thingy. We've had dark books. The corpse feeding trees right here. They're strengthened by the corpses they've consumed. A panther is hunting Asuka. Okay, hey, we'll tell you what. I'm gonna go hide behind my spike traps. And probably you too. And Pandorific, you too. We're all gonna hide. Yeah! Got him! <laughs> Although, you might not have liked that. No, that was okay. Because that was... That was an, an angry panther. The only game we've ever seen with Triffids was Cataclysm GDA. And only in the shadows there. You like the sound of flesh beats from the void though. I don't know what a Triffid is. Oh, there's thick roof in the way. Of course there is. No. That means we have to place this like that. I could stagger them. And I guess I will. I'm gonna replace these with steel traps. Uh, under security. It's from an Old novel and movie, alien plants that walk and eat people. Whoa! It's a fictional tall, mobile, carnivorous plant species created by John Wyndham in the 1951 novel The Day of the Triffids, which has been adapted for film and television. It became a common reference in British English to describe large, invasive, or menacing looking plants. That does sound pretty horrible. What's my ideology? So it was actually. I just went with the prefab ideology. I did... The the base ideology that came with the DLC. So this is the prefab ideology that you can pick. And the game called it the pain chamber. So it's, it's weird. I've never done pain as a virtue. And now we also have this ritualist meme. 
we want to perform dark rituals. Pandorific has begun to fixate on the Void and wishes to investigate it using the Void Provocation Ritual. Use the Void Provocation Ritual to discover and capture entities. Captured entities can be studied to complete anomaly research projects or connected to a biopharite harvester to generate biopharite. Research Void Provocation and place a psychic ritual spot to perform the ritual. <laughs> Hello, Void, it's me! Pandorific isn't even a follower of our ideologian, but still wants to explore the Void, of course. Because the void is mighty. On the subject of Triffids, your character is trying to sneak between two Triffid groves in the Cataclysm GDA right now. In your experience are quite prolific. You, you just got a video of your toddler son and his pseudo cousin. Pseudo cousin. Having so much fun in the backyard. It's gonna be a hard weekend without his smiles. Oh, That's cute. At least it's just a short weekend. Mm. New recruit. Ghoul's Night Out promised Harmony to Says and asked her to join. Says has accepted and joined Ghoul's Night Out community. The number of Arcus in your colony has reached three. You can now assign the role of Arcus Pain Whisperer to one of your colonists. To assign a role, use the person's social tab, select the ritual spot on the altar, and begin changing role. Okay, I just read it, but what did it say? We need a ritual spot. Who am I left? I sit under my desk. Ritual spots. How about right here? So we want whoever has the best social. That would be Ghoul's Night Out. And we're having a party. Asuka's throwing a party. We have four colonists now. And still nobody here. Does the stuff that we need. Hmm. It says is going to do the research because that is pretty much the only it says is the only person who isn't in the red in research. The only person. So, yep, just basics and research. So, that's good. At least somebody will do the research now. Uh, the entity is escaping. The following entities have escaped their restraints. Doctor. Build stronger containment rooms to stop entities escaping. Entities are less likely to escape from holding platforms with high containment strains, which comes from strong walls and doors, good lighting, and special containment devices. All right, well. I'm sure we can handle this. Party's been called off. Wow, Doctor Ruin in the party. Okay. I hope we don't accidentally kill you. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't. Uh. We killed. Dang it. We should. We, we should have just done melee only. It should have just been melee only. Doctor's dead. Alright, real quick. I need you to come over here. They have to kill. Ghouls feel no pain. But we can still down them, right? Oops. What? 
What am I trying to do? I was just swapping knives because Sass actually has a better melee ability. Only if you break their limbs. Hmm. Hmm. And Terrific is hiding in room. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna need another, another prison uh, bedroom. Not prison cell. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that, George. And yesterday, when we tried to demonstrate that the command was broken, when Alistair was here, of course it worked. It worked just fine. And... Now it's not working again. I mean, the wall building is important too. Chat, the ducks are overflowing. <laughs> the ducks have overflowed into into the fields. Test it again now that you're looking at it. Oh, okay. Well, you're back, Alistair. Look, it's not working. The car always works when the mechanic is present. <laughs> Prison cell is easier to convert people. Yeah, but what I'm thinking we can do is have a ritual to turn ghouls into our pain whisperer. We can roll change. And the pain whisperer is the one that's gonna allow us to Moral guide. Yes. Convert. Conversion ritual. They will require a special piece of apparel, a visage mask. Nope, I'm doing it now. We have no lights. We're doing this in the dark. But only when the car does not work, the mechanic is never present. Oh, says is says is here too. Roll change successful. Now we can do this nifty little conversion ritual. And terrific certainty in the flock is eighty seven percent. We could, theoretically, give Pandorific a very hard time so that they have a, a break. And by having a mental break, their certainty and their ideology might be reduced. Just classic evil stuff. Hi, Lady Orga. Good to see you. Hello, hello. All right, let's name says. Last chance to exclamation join with your names. We are renaming says. Our first non-human to join the colony. She doesn't really do that much. That's okay. All right, here we go. The winner was Reza. Reza Darkside. Hi there, Doji. You'll watch the VOD. You went to see Godzilla and King Kong at the last minute. And so far, it's your favorite underrated uh, gem movie of the year. That's awesome. Welcome to the colony, Reza. Proper 
over capitalization. Is there is there actually a movie about King Kong and Godzilla at the same time? We're about to have more explosions. How are these ducks even laying eggs? Where are the eggs coming from? Aren't they too young to be laying eggs? Makes sense. Reza likes fire. And you're the imp. The impid. The fire breathing impid. One movie. I commend Red. Yeah. Is is this like a, a joint movie about Godzilla and King Kong? It's a new one. Well, you know me. Me and new movies. You're honestly shocked? It was that good? I think I want to build a bridge. Through here. This whole area could use bridges. But it's going to be really hard to walk. There have been several since the 60s. Oh, I was referring to the, the brand new one. That apparently exists. Oh, this wall is gonna take forever. Is it weird to put a growing zone around a grave? Because <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna plant potatoes. Over here. One big potato farm. Good nutrients. The soil is actually not the best. Which is why I'm growing potatoes. Godzilla vs. Kong was oh, uh, 2021. There's a new one being spoken about Godzilla and Kong. So rather than being against one another, they're on the same team? Look, look at them go. This is a good way to get us some, some quick wood, I think. Dropping these little grow zones. So that's gonna stop... Well, I'm gonna harvest that. That is gonna stop trees from growing back. Assuming that they maintain the grow zone, which they should, we shouldn't have any issues with trees blocking the windmills. And that's true. This would help with keeping the soil... Extra fertile. Nobody here can can tame animals still, right? I don't I don't think so. Animals of two, zero, three, and one. Why would you fall asleep in the doorway? That's the worst spot. Okay, let's see how this conversion ritual goes. We went from 88 to 66%. Um, I'm not using the Remind Me mod, so we're just gonna have to remind ourselves to cast this conversion ritual once again in three days. We're just gonna have to remember. We just saw the trailer for the new one the other day. You haven't seen any of them though? Me either. Most people will hate the science side, but it adds to it. Interesting. Let's 
stealing my berries. I guess I should make my duck pen a little bigger. What's this? I can't build here? Marshy soil. It's marshy. Can't build here. Did we take care? We did take care of the duck. Okay, cool. So the, the rest are all females. So the egg should be unfertilized now. Yes, unfertilized. This is good news. We're also going to need, like, a kitchen. The question is, where do we want to start building the true colony? I'm just kind of making spaces as we need them. We have all this area over here. I feel like we should build this way. What if we made like a three by three room over to the side that has some walls and stuff, right? And then another three by three room. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I think. Maybe I'll place it there. And it shouldn't be three by three, it should be four by three. I think. Actually, maybe five by three. Because what I'm thinking is that will give us room for like a a butcher spot. Or two butcher spots. There's a spot for the chair, and then there's some storage room on both sides. For a shelf. We could also make it a little bit bigger. But that's honestly probably fine. So we could do this just for symmetry, you know, two and two. I say cut plans or copy. That's one, two, three wide. I've started to have to add the walls in my planning because when it's just a plan, it doesn't look the same to me as it does when you actually build things. I guess because it's kind of the opposite. Like when you're digging things, when you're digging it out, like you're removing, it's subtractive building, whereas when you're planning, you're adding things to it. And so it just... The space doesn't feel the same. Hi there, Lang! Hello, hi, Red... Red Zyrus. Welcome in. How was RimWorld today, Lang? Were you also playing some... Anomaly? Hello, hello, everybody. Cool greetings to you! I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. I am Jess. We're also checking out some Anomaly today. We're also doing the same. I'm doing some base planning right now. I'm planning. I'm planning the base. It's beginning. One of your colonists just became fascinated with the void. Oh, we had that too. Yeah, one of my colonists is the same. And I'm not really sure what to do about it. Like, should I... Should we follow it up? Should we check it out? I don't... 
We don't really have anybody who's doing research. We're getting there very slowly. Nobody's even started this research project, so it's... We're gonna get there eventually. This is day two of Anomaly. Day two. Did I just do that backwards? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. This doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. It's not, it's not big enough. I didn't plan for a door. Late break reminder. I think I'm at an advantage today because I started my stream so late. I did start the stream pretty dang late today. So, I believe... I have a little bit of an advantage. So what I'm trying to do right now is plan some some base some base upgrades. So this is gonna be the kitchen and the butcher. I was thinking that shelves are three wide, but they're two wide, aren't they? They are two wide. So we could either do a single shelf here and a single shelf, or we could move this over one more to make extra room. But what if we did this instead? So that could be the door, and then we could put a shelf here, here, and then like two single shelves. Yeah, I like that better. Thank you so much again, Lang, for the raid. I hope your stream was most excellent. Hi, the pack, Garrett. Lang made you come here, but you are glad. You found out Lang is a ghoul. Lang, a ghoul. You also had a great Randy start. Colonus was reading a book the first day, had a break, destroyed all food, silver, and components. <laughs> oh no. That's quite the start. Hopefully you've been able to recover. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do. Right here. And it's not really centered with anything. I guess I should probably measure. Or we could just start building from here. Nope, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna live on the wild side and just start digging. Which, if you know me or maybe don't know me, I usually get really crazy with the builds that I do. My colonies. I like to make them really pretty and intricate and complex, and I'm- I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna make a thing and- and dig it. Living on the wild side. Oh wait, but I just realized something about this setup that won't work. No, I mean, I guess it would. Just start digging has never caused any regret ever. <laughs> never ever! I've still been streaming for three and a half hours. <sighs> it's fine. Okay, uh, oh no, I deleted it. Oops. I'll- I will do the break. I will. Just let me finish my plan. Take it back. I am gonna plan this a little bit more thoroughly. Because I just realized we're gonna wanna make... ...little airlocks. What 
if we did it like this? So the blue could be shelves. The green is the bench, the yellow is the sitting spot. It's kind of cramped, right? Well, I guess, yeah, that could be a shelf. And this could go here. What are you smelling? Does that seem okay? This feels inefficient. Hmm. Hmm, chat. Hmm. Must have been a topology textbook. You've seen that happen. <laughs> break, no burst, mental break, nodders. Okay, I had a mental break earlier. I'm like, I'm functioning on catharsis right now. I've got a catharsis. I'm, I'm good. Okay, I don't like it. I've changed my mind again. I think what I'll do is put the door here. Like that. And if we even just open the room up... And just made a square. You're pre-catharsis, so you're currently in a mental break. Is that what you're telling us? You're currently in a mental break? You tried. You did try. It's a square. There. That's what I'm gonna build. That's it. That's what I'm going to build. Copy these and then flip it on a mirror and then rotate it. Boom. One, two, three. Got it. Now, I'm gonna take the strategy of just start digging. And I wish I would stop doing that backwards. Just start digging. Nothing has ever gone wrong. Doorway right here, too. Yeah. Or do we want it to be... I, I, have to, I have to build the walls in, or plan the walls. I... Yeah, I want the doorway to be right there. So that's, that's correct. <laughs> Oops. Remove the plans. Boom. We got it. Where's the hospital? Right there. That's the hospital. It's looking like cat eyeglasses. I think it kind of looks like an owl. Like there's a beak. Here are some eyes. There's like, there's even the little nose. The nose holes in the beak. 
I'm getting too good at ignoring you. I'm getting good at ignoring everybody. You have an idea? You might try it for your T3 sound command. About time. You know how many of you have are tier 3 subs with no sound effects? You only see Squidward. Well, now that's all I see, too. Now that you pointed it out, it does look like Squidward. <laughs> am I feeling better today? Yeah, I, I am feeling better. Sort of. I did start my stream super late today because I had a bad morning. But I didn't want to miss the whole stream. I didn't want to do that, so... I chose to instead start late. I didn't even realize, though, that we planted all the potatoes. So next I'm going to build the windmills. We should also build the power conduits. Which we can put underground now. Hidden power conduits are a thing. Which is very exciting. Which makes me... Oh, we don't even have to smooth the walls. We can just build them on the floor. Like this. And they're gonna be hidden. I forgot all about that. We don't even have to smooth the walls. Wow! It costs two steel to bury them underground as opposed to one steel if they're above ground. But I'm I'm so happy that hidden power lines are vanilla now. That's trying to make me go away again. So I'm saying there's lots of people who could dedicate their tier 3 sound commands to things that will encourage me to take a break. Perhaps. You missed two days this week so you empathize. Sometimes you just gotta take some time off. Sometimes you do. I do feel better in general. Yesterday, I ended early because I was so sleepy. I was so tired. I just, like, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Trying to communicate was so challenging. So, I ended my stream and just fell asleep. I raided over to Alana and was just like, I'm gonna go sleep now. And that's what I did. I cuddled Kuma and fell asleep. Let's see, chat. Do you want to play Words on stream today? You can't play Rimworld until your, your mods get updated because you can't live without them. A lot of the... A lot of the mods... That I kind of considered essential, like quality of life mods, were actually... Incorporated into vanilla with 1.5. Nothing says you like the streamer like tools that tell them to leave the camera. <laughs> You're down to a new low in terms of mods. Yeah, I oh, I think I have 11 mods right now. 11! That's it. There's a bunch that I wish to have added. Like, geological landforms. I sort of wish I had played with. But I don't know, this map is pretty cool. We have a huge river and a huge mountain. So plenty of places for mechanoids to attack, which is why we're making the anti-mechanoid barrier right here. Five, and that includes Harmony and Hugslip. My 11 do include those two as well. But there are still a few that I'm, I, I should add. Reminders would be great. I should probably add reminders in. I don't know if that one's updated, though. I think there was one more. The music manager. The music manager is the one that we're just waiting on Fluffy to update. This is the sad song. This is the song I would skip if I could because it's sad. Very carefully isn't updated yet, so we'd be adding one more eventually. You could try character editor. Character editor kind of does the same thing. Sort of, kind of. Okay, I'll take a break. I'm doing it. I am I am taking break. Yeah, when I come back, the song will have finished. Look, I still even have your game open from yesterday. 
yesterday's game. I'm even on the leaderboard. <sighs> Thank you all so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate you are that you are here for the out of hours weird stream today. I hope you're having a good time. I hope that you all are enjoying your own time with Rimworld Anomaly, if that's what you're up to. I hope you're having a good Friday as well. I will continue this game of words from yesterday. In the meantime, I'm gonna go eat a snack. Maybe pet a cat or a dog. Go to the bathroom. Those sorts of things. And you should all do the same too. Or, you know, just play words. That's fine too. Uh, let me hit start. Make sure autopilot's turned on. So I'll let you play a few levels and then we'll get back to the game. Thank you all very, very, very much. In advance for your patience for break time, thank you so much for being here. See you soon.
Wait, chat, don't start a new game. I'm back. Okay, fine. Play one level and then and then I'm back. I brought a kitty to show you I I, I brought a cat. To show and tell. And look at that, he left. He went and he left. I blame this on you, chat. Is it getting late for some of you all? It's approaching late time, isn't it? And the stream is still only four hours in. Can you believe it? Are you the only one doing anything? Maybe. Getting close to sleepy time. Not midnight yet. You're gonna do some prep for D&D &D soon. Are you a player or a DM? Okay, chat. Now I will stop you. G. G. Well done. Your system is Pathfinder. Ooh. Fancy. Is your... Is your D&D game tonight or this weekend? Well done, everybody. Thank you for playing. Uh, but I'm just like, I'm blanking on what I'm trying to do over here. <laughs> I'm just blanking. It's almost five for you, five, 5 p.m. Four hours from now. Ooh. Friday night D&D. That sounds like fun. What did we leave off on? Yep, 5 p.m. So you are... Central? Am I, am I doing the time conversion correctly? My alarm is going off telling me that the stream is almost over. This is normally where I would, I, I've instructed myself to start wrapping up the stream. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Fitbit. It's a weird day. Should we wrap up the stream or should we just keep going? I don't know. A new quest has become active. 
We have 19 days. Decide if we want to get a bio mutation lance. Being guarded by two manhunting hares. A limited use psychic effector. It twists and reshapes the musculature of the target, causing them to transform into a terrifying creature. This bio mutation lance was crafted from a broken shard of dark arcno technology. Broken shard of dark Arcotech? That to me sounds like this is how you make a ghoul. I bet this is how you make a ghoul. I bet you! <laughs> okay, you're both central. Maddie central. Doji central. I'm being very confusing and talking to two different chats. <laughs> Tell the alarm to try again in a few hours. Try again. Kitty! Kitty, 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 come here! He's like, no! I won't. Emmy's like, I'll come over and say hi though. Hi, Emmy! Little ball of chaos. Central time, best time. I miss the days when I was on East Coast time. I miss it. That's why you chat over here, there, YouTube. More so I can practice. It's just, it's confusing for chat. Because... <laughs> I don't think Twitch chat realizes I'm talking to YouTube half the time. And so, Twitch has a policy that says I'm not allowed to combine chats because it detracts from the Twitch experience. I disagree because I think it's confusing. It's confusing for Twitch chatters. So I would, I would like to be able to combine chats. I, I think this must be how you make a ghoul. I'm putting my money on that, but I don't think I'm gonna go grab it. EU best time. I miss being on Eastern Time because my stream schedule was like the perfect time. A group of Neanderthals have arrived from nearby and are attacking immediately. One Neanderthal. Traman Kanga. Who has some skills in animals, but holy moly, the melee! 17. Good luck, chat. I'm just gonna stand behind my traps. Attacking immediately. Here they come. Ambrosia rotted away in storage. Also, thank you all for hanging out during break time. I hope that you either enjoyed words or Got some some good break time in yourself. Some stretching and some snacking. Maybe some sneezing. I'm about to start sneezing again. I, uh, it's, it's happening. One trap. No, they died. No, they hit both traps. They were not going to hit it. They were on track to only hit one trap. And then, and then they hit both. Panther opened the door, which changed their trajectory from going this way, like boop, 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 to going this way. And they turned around and went this way instead and hit two traps and died. Spike traps, the steel spike traps actually deal more damage than wooden spike traps. So they just got extra deaded, basically. May you feed the tree. The more you see of this game, the less you understand it. You're curious to see what happens. Well, you should... You should ask questions. Feel free to ask questions. What happened? A sharp trap. Oh no, you hit my traps. My trap card. They hit my traps. 
We need some humane traps so we can release the raiders at the park when we catch them. Hi, Gossamer Ghoul! Well, you know, I would to, like, keep them as prisoners, perhaps. For a, another time. Or should I say another another colonist? Not another time. Or maybe another time too. So I'm trying to explain as much about the game as I can as I play. But there's so much that happens that I can't possibly explain it all. I gotta blow my nose again. I'm I'm over the allergies. I've even been taking my allergy meds, chat. It's just that my nose doesn't stop itching. I just realized I am covered in cat hair. EU correct time? Blocked by a roof. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Okay, so roofs. I um, built some windmills, and if there's anything inside, there are little outline here, such as trees or roofs, it will actually block their efficiency. And so, this is the roof overlay. The dark green is thick roof, basically roof that we can never remove. The light green is thin roof, which we just need to take down with a remove roof order. And then this will be blocked. I forgot to build a battery. I don't know where I'm going to put a battery. How about right there? I'm outnumbered. I am outnumbered. So, all of you sleepy EU folks are going to go to sleep soon. And then there's only going to be like five of us left. Flamethrower's ghoul is not alive. No, Flamethrower died. Got into a scuffle with some... Angry, angry mega splooters. You can't be sleepy. You have wonderful coffee. <gasps> oh, that sounds awesome. I love coffee. So we have power. It's kind of basic power, but we've got some. So we can start taking down our torch lamps to save fuel. So rather than using wood to fuel our lamps, we can just use good old wind power. We just got here and it is chaos. What happened so far since last stream? Uh, we have two new prisoners, uh, the colonists. I mean, not, not prisoners. We have two new colonists. One of them wandered in and wanted to join. The other was our prisoner that we recruited. Um, Randy has sent us ducks. Oh, I can't put the fence here either? Today I learned that I can't build a fence on a bridge. Okay. Insulting spree. <gasps> That's the worst. Uh oh. Reza got so upset with the insulting spree that she punched Ghoul's Knight out in the face. But the, on the bright side, no longer on an insulting spree. The reason why insulting sprees are really awful is because every time the the colonist 
insult somebody else, it affects their mood really poorly. So insulted times two is a negative 10 moodlet for two days. And these just keep stacking. They can be insulted like 10 times for like a huge negative moodlet. So honestly, the fact that Reza ended it by punching ghouls in the face is okay. Fine by me. Making good coffee at home was the one thing you didn't want to lose after your son was born? You gave up lots of stuff. But coffee is permanent. That's... that's fair. You gotta have the things that still bring you joy. The ghoul picked a fight and the mega spider... and lost. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Blame the our ghoul. Just wandered on over into the mega spider's lair. Picked a fight and lost. Permanently. And that is why Flamethrower is dead. Asuka tried to convert Pandorific to his ideologian. Pandorific's certainty fell from 73 to 70% and resents the conversion attempt. I feel like there was something else I was saying too. What else were we talking about? I don't know. But I don't know. You have to move the fence though, because turns out you can't build that on marshy soil. Oh, I know what it was. Randy sent us a whole bunch of critters today. Like lots of ducks. We have so many ducks. <laughs> These are actually the ducklings that turned into adult ducks. Now we have 10 pet ducks. We have a panther that we cannot keep tamed. And we have a boomalo. Randy also sent us a rat that died. And another wild... Another wild person entered the map. I think this is the one who joined the map today? The other one died. Got into a fight with the panther, I think, and lost. We haven't researched anything. This is not a very smart group. Not at all. We have a combined intellect of two, five, eight, ten. Between four people, ten intellect. And nobody has the bulk of that as their own skill. They all just suck at research. There's really no other way to put it. No use pulling punches on that. They just, they're not very good. So the exciting news here is that these wall lights can be placed on rough Rough walls. I'm working on converting to electricity right now. We finally have windmills. And no battery yet. But we should have a battery soon. these were priorities yeah there, there are two different types of research so there's the standard research where you have to use the research bench but now there's also the other tab the anomaly tab and the way that you advance this research is by studying unnatural entities so we did have a ghoul contained but they broke free and we had to kill it
guess I didn't like being there. Nope, so no no research. A feral child has wandered in. A child living among wild animals has wandered in and is called Canovo. You can attempt to tame her. Again, we can't. Requires a seven. A preteen wild woman. She's reclusive and kind. That would be the third wild wanderer. You think they escaped because the wall lights went out? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that because the lights themselves only offer five containment strength. I can't see the breakdown. Because there's nobody on the platform, I can't see the breakdown. But out of the whole calculation of 112, only five of that is from the lights. Demon works. You feel feral humans have become a lot more common. At least in this run they are. Oh, I'm also gonna replace the stove. We have a battery! Woohoo! Battery. We're just gonna take all these lights out. Outlander Toxin Dump. Awoken Decider Frankie McKay of the Arium Treaty has a special request. Someone has dumped an abundance of toxic waste packs near one of her settlements and she is unable to safely store them. If you accept, McKay will deliver 90 toxic waste packs by transport pod. If not kept frozen, they will dissolve over time, polluting nearby terrain. We can accept for books. Grenade for cash. Advanced techniques in diplomacy and scientific inquiry. Social and intellect. Mad boomalopes on the loose. Time to cower behind our traps. Okay, well, it. The traps worked. It went boom. Yeah, you're gonna want to keep uh, extinguishing this fire. You too. We're gonna have a forest fire. <laughs> no, 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 Asuka, you're gonna help too. This is a team effort. That was about to be... That was about to be bad. Lentry is cooking something. It smells very good. How long ago did I save? Uh, I haven't. Today. But I have lots of autosaves. What else changed? A lot? YouTube is oppressing you. I actually forgot to check YouTube. Hi, Holler! How goes the new DLC? Um, it's going. We have electricity. Which I think is a huge... step in the right direction. So far, I'm, I'm really enjoying the changes with 1.5. And I do not ignore reminders. I save the game. I didn't ignore the redemptions, I saved the game! Although I did forget to play the, the, the song earlier, yes. I did forget to do that. Uh, 
Uh oh, our animals have gotten the flu. How many save the game reminders have there been? Two. <laughs> there have been two. I missed the first one. What other than lights going out coincided with Subject Zero's escape? Nothing. I think they just have a chance to break out. Because you did that one. I'm sorry I missed it. I, th I think that they just have a chance to escape. It's not... It's not guaranteed. I don't know what the chance is. It's probably just a check that occurs. You can reduce the chances of their escape by setting up the electric inhibitors. This one improves containment strength by numbing the neural activity of your captured entity. And then the shard inhibitor increases containment strength by holding of any holding platform using psychic energy. You're gonna go to bed then, seeing as it's Saturday now. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday, Cody. It's still Friday here. I owe two tavern parties. I sure do. But this is the best song on the soundtrack. We can't skip this one. Saturday for you too. Happy Saturday. No, we have the equipment to contain a ghoul. It's just a matter of how long can we contain the ghoul for? I don't know that it's guaranteed to contain them permanently for any amount of time. All the mod love. Thank you so much for being here, Cody. I appreciate you. The song I called Sad earlier was reminding you of Roller Coaster Tycoon music. Really? And the Roller Coaster Tycoon soundtrack is is sad. Depressing. Depressing soundtrack. Dang, I like these new wall lights. In the... The wall light mod would not allow you to build wall lights on rough walls. I feel spoiled. I feel spoiled by my ability to build wall lights on rough walls with hidden conduits. I have a funny way of showing that. So mean. So mean. Thanks for the streamer love, Cody. <gasps> oh no! The Novo, the the feral child died on one of my spike traps. Oh no. We squished her brain. That's terrible. I am saddened. I guess the, the Don't Hurt the Children mod doesn't seem to be able to apply to feral children. Uh-oh, the ducks are free. Still not a fan of children in RimWorld? Yeah, so that's why I, I was using... I am using a mod 
don't hurt the children. That. Oh, well, you know, we could. We could make it so children can't be hurt at all. So refugee children will not betray you. A man in black will only appear if children are still alive. Children can be sold by traders? Probably no. Improved child flee. They will try to flee their parents, their room, or any family colonists in that order based on its locations are safe and not in combat. Oh, flee to their parents, their room, or any friendly colonists in that order. They can be capable of violence, they can be hurt. We could, we could just say that children can't be hurt at all. Hi, Juice! Hello, Juice. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Okay. I owe... I owe... I owe some things. You are in the best health state in mind. That's awesome. That's great to hear. You think don't hurt the children only tells the AI to deliberately target unarmed children. You don't think it intervenes to protect them from harm in general. Yeah, that is how it was originally. I didn't realize there were new settings. I feel like I want a man in black to appear no matter what. Refugee children won't betray you, so you don't have to worry about killing them. Improved child flee. Children can be capable of violence. Disable if you never want a child to take part in combat. So, if we turn this off, I think we can avoid what just happened. I think. I think we can avoid it. I'm not positive. It wouldn't have stopped them from dying? Well, they wouldn't have been hurt from the... Okay, so the way that I interpret that... I think we're turning this off. So, they can't... They can be targeted by raiders. No. They can be hunted. No. They can be hurt. The way that I interpret this is... They won't be hurt by anything. Like, if on... They can still be hurt by indirect sources. If off, they can no longer be hurt by indirect sources. Okay, there was one redemption. Here's the other one. The man in black thing means that the man in black will show up if we have child colonists instead of waiting for you to have no functioning colonists. Oh. Okay, yeah, then we want that on. Hello, Lanix! How's everyone? I am a little bit sleepy and groggy and cilantro made onion rings that smell really good. I will take them. Just keeping me up too late, no doubt. I'm, I don't think I just... I don't think I slept well. For many days in a row. So, the men in, men in black are exactly what Lisa Dell said. 
They are emergency failsafe colonists that will show up. They sense danger and they send... They, they arrive to your colony to set things right. Don't know why I can't be a woman in black. A person in black. Emergency person. Yeah, you know what? It's never it's never been a woman. It's always a man. That's a good point. You can make it so the children can't be hurt at all, but can fight and build a colony defense around invincible children. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I think my interpretation of this is is correct. Here's why. It says, children can be targeted by raiders, and then children can be the target of any raid or similar threat. Yes or no? And so no, children cannot be the target. And then, children can be hunted. No, children cannot be hunted. Children won't be directed directly targeted, but they can still be hurt by indirect sources. No. Children cannot be hurt. So I think we can prevent the spike trap incident from happening again. Emergency contact in any color. I, yeah, I, I feel like it's a reference to something though. It's a reference to the movie and story trope of a mysterious guy in black turning up to do a rescue unexpectedly. Yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like it's a, it's a movie, a, or yeah, a story trope. It's turning out to be nice weather currently. We're talking about going to the spring fair since you live two blocks from the fairgrounds. You should do it. That sounds really nice. Rare thrombos passing through. Quack, quack, quack. Basic lone wanderer. It's an old western trope. Man in black shows up to solve the problems. Hi, erotic jellyfish, and hello, just your puppy. Welcome in. You feel like if there was an explosion near them, they could still get hurt. Theoretically, we could test it. We could dev mode, dev mode in some explosives and some children, but I don't, I don't really care that much to try it. <laughs> you know why I'm so tired? I stayed up way too late last night because I took a nap. I took a nap and it, it made it so I went to bed super late. It's a worthy sacrifice. Okay, well, just remember that you did this. I don't remember how to spawn. Okay, well, maybe whatever... We shouldn't spawn whatever I just tried to spawn. A cult escapee. That didn't work. Spawn, a child, colonist. All right, mead. Uh oh, oh no, I just, this is an actual colonist. When was the last autosave? There's no, there's no timestamp on it. Since when has there not been a timestamp on saves? I'm sure this is fine. You also slept through the night. You want to be a random spawn colonist? Okay, now let me try this. Spawn a child drifter. Not a colonist. 
You took a nine hour nap yesterday. <laughs> That's called sleeping through the night. <laughs> we should post on the mod page that would be helpful if the tooltip were a bit more explicit. If we have dozens of people reading it together and we're confused, it's probably genuinely confusing. It, it, it actually is pretty confusing, but here, we're gonna test it. So we just spawned in a child, and then I need to figure out how to make explosion. Bomb. No, they definitely died. The mod option is on, right? It, it, it's on. They they definitely got killed by the bomb. Uh, maybe maybe we should not try a bomb. Let's try something a little bit less a little bit less Ooh. explodey. Maybe this is like non-lethal damage in BG3. Like we toggled the setting, but we can still Ooh. kill somebody with lethal magic damage. You know, it's got to be weapon damage, not magic damage. <laughs> so the question is, what kind of damage? Hello, Devakeen! How are you? There's magic... I... There's magic damage in BG3. The double-edged sword of the nap. And this is a song you can see playing in the background of brooding character montage. The song is really sad! But actually, yeah, there is magic damage if you're using the Rimmel to Magic mod. That does introduce magic into the game. I want to apply damage. 10 damage. Okay, no, I, we definitely dealt damage. Seven ads. What did you do to offend the ad gods? Well, we have a minute and a half of ads. Every 30 minutes. So it must have been seven short ads. Also, chat, it could just be that... Because I'm dev-moding damage in, uh, it overrides the mod. So I have, I have a new idea. Spawn, child, drifter... Okay, but they're actually part of the same faction. Mental state. Berserk. Okay, no, they're definitely taking damage. They can still take damage, they can still be hurt by indirect sources. Hi Darth Pixaris, welcome in! And welcome back, Ham! And Pelnova, and everybody who got hit with the ads. Thanks for sitting through those, I know that they're obnoxious. Okay, I don't know what to tell you all about the the mod setting. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> my, my interpretation is that it shouldn't have hurt them. Like, they shouldn't have been able to injure themselves, but... Maybe because it was all dev mode, it just overrides the mod's authority? We're about to hold a child fight club. It was for testing! It was for testing. 
This didn't actually happen. It was an attempt to ensure that we wouldn't accidentally hurt the children again. And the reason why we just went through all that is because I... I had a child a wanderer, a feral child that just tried to go come into my colony to steal food. And she died on my spike traps. So I was trying to prevent that from happening again. Oh, She died. But we fed her to the trees. The harbinger tree. We have a codex entry for it. It is a basic... A basic entity. You've heard bonds break the new DLC in some ways. Yeah, they do. We've we've had some small issues. It's possible the mod doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Yeah, that too. I find it really difficult to target where the wall lights are going. Maybe we only need a few of these. Ooh, do these line up? I love it when that happens. Used to be 30 to 60 seconds for TV spots. Now your ad can be as short as you want for an online ad and you aren't required to set a time slot because it's dynamic. It is kind of obnoxious when all you see is seven ads remaining. Like, okay. Are those like five minutes each? Are they 10 seconds? I don't know. I think we should make some shelves. Hi, one last soul. Good to see you. How about some marble shelves? Because it's just a downright mess in here. I think we should make a hospital first. Kind of chonky. Oops. There. Uh, it's only upset you these days when it ends up being the whole length of a half hour show or more. I actually find Twitch ads to be very disturbing because they just kind of, they just kind of show up. There's no warning or anything, at least if it's a TV show or the radio when you get ads, there's a natural break in the content and you know, like, mentally you know that there's a chance they could happen. Like this is the right time where ads would show up. But with Twitch ads, they just happen out of nowhere. Streamers in the middle of a monologue, a boom ad. And they're also usually very loud. Very jarring. I just, I, I, I modded those out, you know? I just modded them right out of my gameplay. AKA I got turbo. You know what? Take it back. Well, I don't take it back. No, I, I do. I'm, I'm gonna move my spike traps, I think, over here instead. But what I'm doing is, no, let's just make single doors. I've got to sneeze again. Ew, it was really wet. 
Gross. You found the Firefox extension that silences Twitch ads, and quality of life has significantly improved. Well, that's a bonus. Good to know that exists. You like the ads, but these be better. In your country, you were able to choose to watch extra ads for bits. Yeah, they got rid of that. They they got rid of that. Now you can you can still get bits for participating in surveys, but you can't watch ads any longer. Hi there, Sebastian. Yeah, what's the name of the Firefox extension? TV and radio ads. Add separate content to which ads replace and delete content. Yeah. Well, it's not fully deleted. It's still there. You can always go back and watch the VOD, but yeah, I know I know what you I know what you're saying. Twitch ads tell you how many seconds are remaining. YouTube ads tell you the length of the ad you're watching. Also, the other day, there was over an hour ad. I don't know how it made that as a YouTube ad. The creator might have said it. I think that we can, we can set ads to be that long. I honestly just let YouTube... ...do ads as it will. I, I, let, I let YouTube decide. <laughs> it does have an ad algorithm of some sort. where it determines the best places to insert ads. And I just, I, I just don't know. I don't know how, how exactly I want to set ads to begin with. Going from like 5% volume to 100% on the ad, and clicking the sound level fixes it. But why does it need to deafen you? It's too loud. Twitch Ad Meter. That is the name of, of the of the plugin for Firefox. Twitch Ad Muter. It wasn't it wasn't multiple ads. It was one random ad for a fake fake health stuff that was an hour-long infomercial. Oh, like sponsored content? Was it Was it a sponsored segment? Or was it actually an inserted ad? Our colonists are starving because a streamer forgot to put the the cooking stove back. Hi Omarid, hello! You didn't notice I was on? How dare! How dare you not notice that I was online? Just a random ad that you skipped after five seconds. Whoa, that's so weird. It has had ads over 30 minutes long if you don't hit skip. <gasps> that's sneaky. But you know what? I bet it works. I bet you it works really well, and here's why. Because people put YouTube content on to sleep. Or just to like, fill... Fill the dead space. Or, yeah. Autoplay. I, I do want to do that, but I'd rather focus on the other digging first. This is taking so long that... Yeah, I'm gonna be patient. Panderifics and a sad wander because there's no recent conquest. Oh, probably because we need to convert you. And guess what? The conversion ritual is back up and available. He's built the electric stove. 
You subbed on YouTube so you don't see any ads. Do you have YouTube Premium Hauler? Hi, Molly! Hello! Hi, Molly! Thank you for the raid! It's Molly Berry, everyone. Dancing in with the fairy raid. Hi, Molly. Hi, Buckma. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hi, Rial. R R Rial. Elder Nettle. Eevee. Eevee Bone Weevil. Beevil. Bone Weevil. I got it. Hi, Miss Vadams. Welcome in. Hello. Were you playing Rimmel today? I think I saw earlier that you were playing some Rimmel. How are you liking it? Are you still on your first colony? Or did you start over with the 1.5 update and also the DLC? No DLC though, still so new. We've hardly even gotten into the DLC content, to be fair. It's your fourth colony, didn't start over. How many hours do you have now? If you're on your fourth colony, I'm just curious. Um, I'm not judging or anything. I'm just over a hundred. Oh wow! So you've you've done really well with those colonies. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm not judging or anything. I'm honestly just asking so I can judge the longevity of your colonies. <laughs> 100 hours with four colonies is really good. <laughs> Eki did two years with one colony? That's really impressive, because uh, the game gets updated frequently enough that you kind of have to retire some colonies after a while. I had a colony that I was playing for, I think, about a year, and I, I think we officially said goodbye to it, because now with the update, I don't think it will work anymore. Yeah, me too, Mr. Puppy. My first few colonies all ended so quickly. So that's really impressive, Molly. And I wouldn't call myself a professional Rimworlder either. Rim Worlder. I wouldn't. But I do appreciate you all coming over so you can see our Sorry, there's too many noises. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Napsor! Hello! Thank you for raiding over. How was Timberborn today? We had a Molly Berry raid and a Napsor raid. Hello to you both. Molly is super lovely. She's a member of the Twitch Women's Guild. I think we gave you a shout out, but I'm gonna give you another one. And is new to Rimworld. Checking it out. Definitely be sure to drop her a follow. She has a very, very chill, very inclusive channel over there. And Napsor is playing some Timberborn too. I want dry her. Automod has caught your message for sex based terms. I think, in context, I will allow it. How is Timberborn treating you? Are you making good progress? Hecky takes good care of people and colonists. Yay. What is the question about auction that included Sebastian? I really appreciate you all coming over. Also, thank you so much for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Um, I, I am Jess. We play a lot of strategy, simulation, and management games here, including RimWorld. I took a extended break from the game, and then uh, here we are with 1.5 and the Anomaly DLC. And so Anomaly is a... It is a new DLC that is horror-themed. It's a horror-themed DLC. And we've hardly even gotten to it at all. We've started a mountain colony. We live in the mountain! That's this big dark blob. 
That's all a mountain, and we're slowly, slowly, slowly digging it out. Slowly freeing the colony from the mountain. It's Timberborn. It's filled with a new endo. I should play the game. It's been going good. More dams. Another district. Put a tap on the bad water. And in the last minute, you started digging dirt. It's been a long time since I played Timberborn. My colonies ended so quickly. My first few did. I didn't know what I was doing. And I was really upset when everybody died. It took me kind of a long time to toughen up to the terrors of RimWorld. And now we are actually playing a DLC that has terrors. We've experienced a few. We've had... We've had an invisible creature monster thing attack us. We've had a flesh tentacle thingy attack us. And some ghouls. I do love my mountain hermit colonies. I do! Do I like reductive crafting? Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I, I like watching it more than doing it myself. Unless we're talking about carving a colony out of a mountain. Actually, isn't there... Isn't there a puzzle game that's kind of based on the concept of, of reductive crafting? I have no idea what the... What it's called. There are tentacles. It, it, there really was a, a flesh tentacle thing. It came out of this pit in the ground. A pit burrow. A small hole connecting to some unseen cave network deep under the surface. The walls are too steep to climb. It is inherently unstable and will collapse after some time. It hasn't collapsed yet. It feels it's going a bit too well in Timberborn. One thing with the bad water is it can make the beavers very sick, which hasn't been a risk for you at all. Is it the map that you're on, maybe? Are you on a like an easier map? Oh yeah, or pumpkin. Pumpkin carving is really fun. Flesh tickles, not to be confused with flesh tickles. <laughs> Those are okay. Yeah, it really was like a, it was a fleshy flamingo looking thing. It had one appendage with a, a spine on the end. And it attacked us like this. It was kind of cute. <laughs> so right now what we are working on is not a whole lot, actually. We have four colonists now. One of them has died. Although they were a ghoul. So the the ghouls aren't really they are colonists, but they aren't. They are humans that were through some process converted into ghoulish monsters. And so they don't do anything besides eat and fight. And so our, our poor ghoul died. They picked a fight with the wrong animal, basically. And then they died. <laughs> we have a, a festival opportunity called the Furry Party. Just to cars. I think that must be Pandorific. Yeah, Pandorific is the just to car. We're trying to convert Pandorific out of his ideology. You're not on one of the new newcomer maps, as far as you know, but it's very easy to make the bad water just not be a problem. You should submit the feedback to the devs. Maybe help with balancing, I don't know. Are they like ghouls in Fallout? Actually, kinda. 
I don't know that they take on the same appearance, but they lose... They lose all of their qualities that they had in life. Their appearance changes. They no longer have any of their skills or their traits that they had in life. They just become basically like a shambling monster thing that has to eat either raw meat or corpses. And if they don't, they have a chance of going berserk basically and attacking everybody. So we have an extreme break risk. It's because everybody's starving. I'm, I'm so distracted. I'm just chatting. I'm, I'm just chatting with chat. Thank you very, very much for the follows. Welcome, welcome. We have anonymous follows, so if you want, if you followed and just want to lurk away, feel free. Or feel free to say hello. It's apparently raid time. Hi, Blue and Queenie. Hello. Hi, Mike Wig. My Mike Wing Wang. Bored now. The mini me. Umbo, Blue and Queenie. Hello, Fable M. Claire for UK. Night shakes. Hello, everyone. Santa Chaos. Hi. Welcome in. Hello. It's nice to have you all. It's nice to meet you. I am Jess. You're following in just after a Molly Berry raid and also a Napsor raid. It's the Raiden Hour. <laughs> what? What is Turbo Golf Racing? That sounds like fun. Turbo Golf Racing. Oh, thanks. My horns. I forgot about my horns. Yeah. Hi, Kawaii Doom Lizard. Blue and Queenie is also a member of the Twitch Women's Guild. I really appreciate you stopping on by and bringing your community over. We are playing some RimWorld. I think my mods already did this, but I will do it again. It's like golf, but with monster trucks. Golf with friends and Rocket League combined. That sounds like a great time. That sounds like a great time. Motorette, good night. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We are playing Rimworld, which is a colony sim it's a story generative colony sim which just had a really big update yesterday it's in 1.5 now and a brand new dlc just dropped so we are exploring that we're in the very very early game and my colonists are slowly dying because i'm not paying any bit of attention to them i'm too busy just chatting away i'm chatting <laughs> it is unless your chat joins and they're all better than you that sounds like a really fun community game. I'm actually gonna make a little note about that right now. Such as... What was it? Turbo Golf Racing. Turbo Golf Racing. It's Jeep? Good news, Reza! Thanks for joining us today. It does look like Rocket League. It does. It was, but now you hate them all. Competitive anger. <laughs> so, sounds like, it sounds like maybe you should play marbles on stream or something where the only people who win, it, 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 it's based on luck of the draw and not actual skill. It's really hard to get angry when that's the case. <laughs> You had fun betting who would place higher with channel points on the predictions. You lost many points. Oh no! That sounds like a great time. It sounds like a really, really, really fun Friday stream. Or is it Saturday for you? Because you're over in the UK. It's Saturday, isn't it? It's still Friday for me. I'm in the US. To everybody who's rated over Blue and Queenie and Molly and Napsor, if you all are still here. Thank you so much for sharing your communities with me and with all of us. If you need to go lurky, lurky for self-care, we totally get it. I encourage it. 
thank you for the support. Saturday in 15 minutes in Ireland in the UK. 15 more minutes. I have many more minutes, but okay. Almost Saturday. Does anybody have any fun weekend plans? I actually just had a new sink delivered. <laughs> like a, a kitchen sink. We ordered this weeks ago and it finally showed up yesterday. It's a brand new kitchen sink. Because ours is really gross. And this weekend, I'm gonna learn how to install a sink. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the piping and it's also gonna be really nasty, isn't it? That is gonna be really gross. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Oh no, ads! I'm so sorry. There are ads. I'm sorry, everybody. I hope th I hope you're safe from the ads because you recently raided. But yeah, I get to learn some plumbing. Make sure you have all day. It can be a time sink. <laughs> oh, Paul Mary. <laughs> yeah, it's last night. Solandre was like, "Hey, so you want to install the sink?" I'm just like. So Landre, it's like 8 o'clock at night. There's no way you're going to talk me into, into installing a sink right now. <laughs> Only 18 times? Then I'm going to fly to Scotland to be Sal's plumber. This, I bet, is Sal to the plumbing stage? Of getting her little cottage... Uh, renovated? That's the word. Man, I'm, I miss having my little in-chat alerts for ad breaks. I miss them already. I just started on the serious plumbing, and they're finishing putting on the walls. Dang. That's so cool. That, that is so cool. I, I'm, I'm really sorry about all those ads. I think they probably caught the raiders. I think it had been just long enough from the raid window that probably everyone got caught in the ads. I didn't even know they were coming. My Twitch chat is bugged, so I, I don't see the ad alerts. I don't see them. But yes, I'm, we're gonna DIY the sink. What ads? We just had a minute and a half ad break. Came out of nowhere! It actually did. I, you're, We're supposed to get little pop-ups in our chat that says, Ad break incoming! But for some reason, mine is bugged. And I do not get the, the pop-ups. I reported it to Twitch, and they... They just said, for a small percentage of channels, it's a, it's a problem. Have a great weekend, Mr. Puppy! Thanks for joining us today! You have to refresh pretty often to see Molly's. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's like 95% of the time it doesn't work. And then 5% of the time I get... They get in-chat notifications that ads are coming. Sal is going full Monty on renovations from barely, barely habitable to the lighthouse and submarine pen. It's so cool. It is so cool. I'm, I like... I have so much respect for for what Sal is doing. So another content creator that I know, she and her partner recently purchased a very dilapidated cottage <laughs> in Scotland, like not not habitable, and are renovating it while living in it, and somehow still managing to stream and stuff. I'm just like. Blows my mind. So I'm over here, like, proud of being able to install a sink. But there's already the hole on the counter. I don't, I don't have to cut anything. Like, I, I already have the hole. I just get to drop it in. And then do the plumbing. I'm sure it won't be so bad. The haunted corpse of a cottage. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
They haven't had a hot shower in six months. I feel like I probably at some point would have gone to a hotel just to have like a decent shower. It's just, it's so impressive. While we're doing all the shoutouts, Sal is also a wonderful streamer. She plays a lot of Shadow Team Simulation games as well, like we do here. Uh, but she has a much stronger focus on things like Dwarf Fortress, for instance. Those of you Dwarf Fortress lovers, Sal tends to stream like evening time in the US, so very early morning slash overnight her time. She has a very, very cozy, relaxing stream. The worst part of installing the plumbing is usually removing the old plumbing, so I'm ahead already. So the biggest thing that concerns me about this is I'm really terrified of drains. Not for not because I'm afraid of the drain monsters. It's because of... Well, okay. Yes, the drain monsters. All the things that live in your drain, like soap scum and hair and food and whatever else. Shower drains. I, I have to have Solentria clean the drains. Like, I can't clean the shower drain. I can't clean the sink drains because the things that come out, like, make me want to hurl. <laughs> so I'm a little bit afraid of doing this project because I don't want to unleash whatever's in those in, in those pipes. <laughs> but besides that, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a, a nice upgrade. I'm gonna take pictures and I, I will share them. Just like all the things I remember to share. I'll totally share them. Maybe there's a hair demon in the pipes. Ugh. Ugh, it's disgusting. <laughs> I wonder what category someone would stream in if they streamed renovating an old Italian villa. Craters, IRL, ASMR, the craters category. There's, there's no like... Building and renovation category. I feel like there should be. So Sal is not actually on Halcyon Frequency. Although she fits the vibe. Ugh. I put a rug under my chair to try and stop my chair from getting stuck in all the little rivets in my floor. Like, that's not the right word. Divot? D divot, divot, divots in my floor. In between all the tiles, the grout is so worn away that my chair keeps falling into it. <laughs> and it gets stuck. So I, I put a carpet down, but now my chair is just bunching the carpet up under the wheels. Just pick a rific. Oh, yeah, you could just go under House Flipper or Going Medieval to take over the category. My next DIY project should be filling the divots in the floor. We've thought about it. We're not- we're, we're definitely not even playing remote anymore. This is now- this is now a just chatting stream. <laughs> but that is something we've considered very heavily, but the thing is, is that so many spaces need it that we just, we haven't been able to work up the motivation to do this project. So at this point, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe we should just sanitize the floor and just re-grout on top of it. Not the right way to do it, I know. But we can pretend like it is. <laughs> it's so difficult without the right tools. I mean, we have the tools for it. We just don't have the motivation. We got the tools. 
don't have the motivation. I smell it. You smell pickles? That was a, a nice... Nice sidebar we just had. It gave me plenty of time to think about all the things that we need to do to stop this colony from spiraling. Everybody is very hungry and it's because I destroyed our stove and didn't replace it. So nobody's eating. Look how much food we have. It's hard to tell what the food is. This yellow blob, that's rice. These spiky yellow blobs, that's corn. Kind of looks like candy corn. And then these little tic-tac looking things are potatoes. You have plenty of food. I've just instructed all of my colonists. I've told them that they cannot eat any raw food whatsoever. So they are starving to death rather than eat the raw food. So we should probably get somebody working on that right away. Like Pandorific. We should also clean the floor before we do it. Everybody's just gonna help clean the floor. Or not. Because everyone's so upset. Are we making vegetarian meals? I mean, we could be making vegetarian meals. Meanwhile, a panther just wanders through the room. Okay, yeah, you're, you're, you're all gonna have to help. This is so dirty. So, we were talking about this earlier, but I, I was reading yesterday the likelihood of getting food poisoning in RimWorld. And it has... It has to do with a few factors. One of those things is cooking skill. Another is room cleanliness. And each of those contribute a percentage of likelihood to... Oh, I just realized a mod that we're missing is common sense. Common sense is a mod that we're missing. Okay, my brain just went somewhere. Mid-sentence. I know I was like in the middle of a <laughs> of a sentence and just whew, ADHD checking in. <laughs> um, yeah, we're missing common sense. It was because I was watching them make the food and then like, how come they're not cleaning the floor before they they go to cook anyways? And like, oh, because we don't have the common sense mod. So yeah, cooking skill affects the likelihood of food poisoning and also the cleanliness of the room and so each of these contribute a certain percentage of likelihood of food poisoning up to i guess it can be like a hundred percent i i'm not i'm not fully certain i'm not fully certain how it, it works out in terms of like 0% likelihood to 100% likelihood. I just know that there's a, like, I think a maximum of 5% at really low cooking skill to zero by level seven, don't quote me on that. And then room cleanliness above negative two, room cleanliness, I believe the chance of food poisoning becomes very minimal. So that doesn't sound right because it's we're at negative 0.45. The well the wiki said it was negative two, which again doesn't sound right. So throwing the food on the floor, I don't think matters. What does matter though is when you have a meal that has been assigned a likelihood of food poisoning. So let's just call it 100 percent 
and you add it to a stack of meals, and say there's like 19 meals in the stack, it will distribute the likelihood of food poisoning evenly among all the meals. So if you have one meal with a likelihood of 100, percent food poisoning and you drop it onto a stack of 19 to make a stack of 20 all the meals obtain the chance of food poisoning but divided by 20 so each one now has a five percent chance for food poisoning <laughs> and then i think there's an invisible check to whether or not they they will succumb to food poisoning didn't they finally fix that and patch you back so I heard it being discussed in another stream, which is why I looked it up. Because I didn't know. But according to the wiki, it's still a thing. Unless it just hasn't been updated. The other thing that I read was that raw food carries a permanent chance of food poisoning, like 5%, I think. And then corpses as well. No, maybe corpses were 5%, raw food was 2%, and that doesn't go away. Which is why so often you see food poisoning from eating raw food or corpses. And then... The other last thing was that... The only ways to fully guarantee that you no longer have the chance of food poisoning are to use nutrient paste meals, because those have a chance of 0% food poisoning, no matter what, or by purchasing meals through a trader. If you cook them yourself, there's always, like, some chance of food poisoning. But the only way to negate it to 0% is nutrient paste or buying meals directly from traders. At least according to the wiki. I'm going to go back up and read the chat now. One time your friend lived in the spackle house. Every time something broke, the landlord brought over a big tub of spackle. And just spackled? How does that work, though? It couldn't be every every time something broke. Like, you can't fix pipes with spackle. Also, thank you all so much for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Follows are anonymous, so feel free to lurk on away, or if you want to say hello, that's cool too. So I love that wall lights are vanilla now, but they target the walls differently than they did with the wall light mod. I don't really know how to explain it, except they just don't sit on the walls the same way that they did. Hello, <laughs> hello, undeserved capybara. <laughs> Hi, Dandor Frenchie. Hello and good night. It's 1 a.m. and you're so tired. You're sleepy. That sounds like a perfect time for sleep then. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for lurking. I hope that you have a good sleep and a good day tomorrow. Today. A good day today. With enough spackle and duct tape, anything is possible. <laughs> I don't know that I believe that. <laughs> there we go. I love your optimism, though. <laughs> I don't know that I believe it. Okay, so what we're making over here is our kitchen and also a little butcher room. We've recovered from our starvation and extreme break risks. Ooh, we gotta make sure we do a conversion ritual while I'm thinking about it. I know you're sleeping, but go convert Pandarevic. Or attempt to. 74 to 53 percent. Let me turn off dev mode. We want to convert Pandorific to our ideology. Speckle, duct tape, and WD-40. 
I don't know if that works either. Duct tape if it moves. And you don't want it to. WD-40 for the opposite and spackle for the structure. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> I love that some of the new some of the new things in the DLC include hidden underground power conduits. This is also a new song. I don't know if this is a song off the remote soundtrack or if it's P music though. Is this, is this the soundtrack or is this P music? Now that we have four colonists that eat two meals a day, let's make 16 meals. That's... Two meals, two days worth of food. Because we have four colonists who eat two meals a day for eight, so we double it. 16 meals. This sounds like pee music to me, but what do I know? Please build this last piece of fence. I had to expand the fence by one tile because of the soggy ground. There was a bunch of soggy ground right here. I could not build a fence on it. Do you think that I should get rid of this inner wall? I think maybe I'll keep... I'll keep it for now. But I'm gonna move my traps. I like this song. I have no idea if this is the Rimmel soundtrack or if this is P music. There's one thing that I didn't realize was... I did, I did not realize that... Uh, 1.5, 1, 1. an anomaly, was gonna release with new music. I did not know that that was something that we could be expecting. That the same picture dot meme. They are both the remote soundtrack and also P music. Like, so this one is P music. All right. I love, I love it. I love the underground conduits. Because now we don't have to smooth the walls. We don't have to replace the walls. We can just build the power conduit underground. I don't have to look at it. It makes me very happy. Like, super happy, I love it! There are just some things about RimWorld that have driven me nuts since the get-go. And one of those things was power conduits. I guess I'll make a little bit outside the wall, my home area. Just in case, you know? Fires and stuff. Meme related. <laughs> they're, they're the same picture. Okay, but. So you, what you're saying is there's no difference between the Rimro soundtrack and B music. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's Rimro music or P music. Well, now I'm not, I'm not sure what we're saying anymore. 
Now I don't know what we're saying. I actually really enjoy having the ducks in my colony. Because I find them I find them funny. Just, it's like comic relief. To just hear quack. Quack quack quack. <laughs> quack. I don't know that I've ever ranched ducks before. I think I've had ducks, but not on purpose. We need a box for them. A box of quackers. A box of quackers. Maybe I should just turn automatic home zone expansion back on. It's very dangerous to do that though. I know better. Hi, Lord Corundum. Have I built an off-site resource gathering location? How would I transport large amounts of resources? In Rimworld? I don't know that it, I don't know that we do. So this is fully lit. The whole room is fully lit. Okay. How are we gonna cool it? How are we gonna cool it, chat? I got an idea. Well, that idea depends on if this is thick roof or thin roof. Oh, we're so lucky it's thin roof right here. <gasps> and right here too? Yay! Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna make a chimney. In fact, we're gonna make two chimneys. Your favorite kind of thing is to get the vehicle mod. Are we still talking about Rimworld? Cool by swamp coolers, but that's not gonna freeze anything. Have you ever found and taken control of a second site? Yeah, not really though. I find it really hard to manage Two different... Two different sites. Oops. I tapped out of the game. Quest expires. Yeah, you're not gonna drop it. toxic pods here. It's not gonna happen. I've, I've done a little bit of experimentation with having multiple colonies, but it's really, really, really difficult for me. I have enough trouble... ...pretty much managing one colony... ...while streaming. It's a little bit different, like, if I play Rimworld offline... ...it's much easier to follow along, but yeah, while streaming, it's all bets are off. One time your hotel got so populated, you made a subsidiary hotel. You fired meals over to them sometime. <laughs> Just... Packed them up. Shipped them via transport pod. I guess that's how you would do it. Transport pods. In order to... Yeah, no transport pods. The only issue with transport pods is that it's really only one way. You would have to have a transport pod launcher on both ends because they're they're one way. So if you launch them from like site A to site B, site B can receive them but it can't send. So you have to have them on both sides. But you can use that as basically ways to send things between locations. And the radius on it is pretty big. It's like I don't know, like this? Maybe? Might be bigger? You wish Rimmel had a multiplayer mode so you could just have two different colonies that you both manage and work together. 
There is a mod for that. I don't know how well it works nowadays, and I also don't know if it has been maintained. There is, and it's still pretty buggy. Yeah, I, I tried it years ago. Honestly, probably like not even the 2020s. It was probably like 2019 that I tried the multiplayer mod. Which is crazy. How is it 2024? I've been playing RimWorld for like seven years, chat. Maybe, maybe six. Just it. Sometimes I just I have these realizations, you know? <laughs> it's what year? It's been how long? Okay, well, it's very annoying that the spot that I want the chimney to go is thick roof. But that's okay. That's all right. I will fill them with sandbags. I won't forget to do that this time. How much leather do we have? Not a lot. We have 49 plain leather. These cost five though. Is 2024 real? Okay, but like I realize now that I should probably have kept the walls here, but I already destroyed them, so it is what it is. I'll just put the walls back. Also, a mod that we're missing is replace stuff. So I'm making a chimney. Which is basically a fancy way to build coolers in your colony without exposing them to the outside world. Asuka, no! <sighs> Asuka almost locked themselves in inside the wall. <laughs> when you when you build a when you when you build when you build a, a cooler and you put it on the wall, it is very easy to destroy, and it becomes a prime target for raiders to destroy in order to gain entry to your colony. So a typical strategy of mine is to build a chimney, basically, where you. You just have to make sure that you have a tile behind the heat, the heated side. So there's the cold side and the heated side. And you vent the heated side into an open cell with the roof removed. And the heat just disappears. Normally, I only put one cell behind, but I needed symmetry. <gasps> I'm sorry, we finished research? Oh my gosh. Avoid provocation. You tried 1.5 for 30 minutes and reverted to 1.4 because it didn't function without your quality of life mods. Oh no. They do enjoy it, I know. <laughs> Going to the Asian grocery store tomorrow. Anyone got recommendations for the favorite brand of ramen? I do not. There have apparently been a lot of improvements on the multiplayer mod. You tried it years ago, but it was a bit of a headache, but it's better integrated now. There's a stream map where they have five to seven streamers all doing separate colonies on the same map. And multiplayer? That's cool. So I don't think I've ever built a chimney like this, but I did it so that way... Wait, did they just take the wall down? They did, didn't they? Because I'm not using overwall. Overwall uh, heaters and coolers. Momofuku 
Or Asha noodles? You do a co-op remote game once a week with a friend, and inevitably there's a mod issue, or you get these things multiple times in the evening. Stuck watching ads. Ooh, welcome back. At least it took me long enough to do this. I didn't even read your message until the mods were over. Alright, so we're just going to move some stuff. So we're moving the butcher table into this location. It's going to be easier to keep it clean and also cold. And I'm going to move the stove over here as well. So let's see. We don't really have that much food, so this is okay. Clear. We're going to do raw food. We're going to say meals. Yeah, just raw food and, and meals. And move the stove. For now. And then turn off... Meals... And raw food. From being stored here. And it's gonna be cold! We have a freezer! Abilities ready! Convert, counsel, reassure, and preach health. <gasps> I get notified now? I feel like I remember reading that in a patch note. That we get notified about things coming off cooldown. Certainty down to 38%! We just need to be really awful and keep ruining people's moods because... That... Inevitably sends them into... Dark... Places, which makes them... <laughs> Sadly. It, it, it leads them to... Dis disavowing their beliefs, basically. Okay, I'm building shelves. Because shelves are a thing. Still now, chat, even after all this time... I still forget about shelves. No default shelf storage. That's a mod we need to. Clear all. Meals. Poppy. This is how you brainwash people in spy movies. Now our food is temperature controlled. It's a balmy 17 degrees Fahrenheit in there. Or negative 8 Celsius. Alright, I feel better about this already. Yay! So then I need to make a freezer. This is going to be the freezer for now. But... Time... Time will tell. And it's gonna tell us that we're gonna need more food storage. <laughs> we will need more food storage space. I'm gonna make some steel beds. About five. And a couple more shelves. Let's do single shelves. Like this. This is gonna be a hospital. Hospital! We can get rid of the sleeping spots on the floor. I think this is already looking way better! Barrels of modding games are getting updates while you love Steam. Keep them up to date. It does cause some issues sometimes. Yeah, just a couple.
I do really appreciate modding games through Steam, though. It's so easy. So also, the reason for placing sandbags in this gap is so that way drop pods don't fall into the opening. Because for some reason, this space is already occupied, so things that fall from the sky, like drop pods or drop pod raiders, shouldn't hopefully end in this location. Because the space is already occupied. I have had raiders fall into my chimneys before. <laughs> A caravan is approaching. They are an exotic goods trader. Passing right through my harbinger forest. The trees are getting bigger. They're getting pretty gnarly. We haven't done a, a check recently for... For eminal corpses. We haven't. Look, a skeleton. <gasps> Entity containment! Proximity detector. We should set this up now. We have... We have, uh, power. It will alert us to the presence of spooky monsters. Maybe. Don't know why I insist on looking for dead things at night when I can't see. Like, it is already absurdly dark, and then I've got, like, key lights in my face, and it's, this is no better. Oh wait, is this a stockpile for fresh, yeah, fresh corpses? Okay, trading. Maybe they're gonna have something good. I can sell my ducks. If we scroll all the way out, it highlights animals. That's if you aren't using Camera Plus. Generally, though, yeah, that's true. It doesn't work with Camera Plus, though. <gasps> Look how expensive the books are. The Register of Representation of Cryptic Pemmican Production. This is only a fragment of a full prototype for making pemmican, though it still has some value to most students. Pemmican, 40 per hour. We're not gonna be making pemmican, right? No, it's pemmican research. It'll contribute towards pemmican research. Allies, allies, loss by the library. In this mediocre novella, the unarmed, unnamed author delves into the story of her nation. It is original and quirky, but has some glaring plot holes. Ayers on diplomacy. This book establishes the author's authority on the subject of diplomacy. The ally focuses on the more skilled aspects of the subject. According to the synopsis, King Ayers' knowledge of diplomacy was so renowned that people would stop him in the street to question him about it. At the book's rear, the publisher advertises a larger series that tackles all subjects necessary for survival on the rim. The textbook has seen better days, but the pages are decent if slightly scored. Two hundred dollars? The Metal Horror of Gem. In this amusing diab diab di Diabologue? What is a diabologue? An old spiritualist reveals an outlander exploratory expedition that survived rains of blood and a sky that attempted to crush them to death with inky blackness. At one point, the protagonist stumbles upon a ritual where he witnesses bloody figures chanting eerie incantations while self-mutilating with shards of obsidian. The book is terrifying in content, tedious in execution, but it's amusing. This is 1.5 content. There are books now, and you can make libraries! I'm very excited about the libraries. More so than, like, any of the other content. Besides, okay, wall lights and hidden power lines. Very excited about that. But also the libraries, super excited. Metal blood serum? A syringe full of rust-colored liquid that constantly hardens and liquefies. When injected into the bloodstream, the metal blood substance can harden the flesh, 
when it anticipates a blow, making the user more resistant to damage. However, the biofarite-based chemistry of the serum also makes the user particularly vulnerable to fire. Okay. Mind Numb Serum. A syringe of clear, vicious fluid. Injected near the brainstem, it deadens the mind, rendering the user unable to feel the highs and lows of human emotion. This temporarily prevents them from having mental breaks and inspirations. Okay then. I think I'm gonna sell my panther. Because we can't tame it. We just, nobody here can... can handle this panther. And it's... It's tameness is just going to keep degrading until it returns to the wild, and then it's going to try to eat us. They have... they have cows. This animal is sick. It is suffering from the extreme flu. Okay, wait, hold on. How extreme of a flu? Is my boomalop about to die? Oh, yeah, it is. My boomalope is gonna die to the flu. The way that you can tell is it says flu extreme 99%, and then at the very bottom of the box, immunity 96.4. Well, the flu has a higher value, so it is gonna die. I'm going to sell it real fast. <laughs> I'm gonna sell it right before it dies. For $149. At least it's raining, that's true. I agree, books are something that's been desperately needed for ages. Maybe I'll sell some ducks. I'm gonna sell four ducks. My boomalope and a panther. And use it to buy 14 components. The boomalope died, everybody. It died in the rain. And then I'm gonna haul it to my storage for food. <laughs> That's actually best case scenario. Oh, no. We just... we just made a little bit of money off the boomalope. It died. And then we get to eat it. This, this is the best case scenario. Although I do feel bad about this duck. The, this duck was affected... ...by the explosion. Oh, my panther got burned. It's not my panther anymore, but, you know. There. I'm sorry that happened to you. I will tend to your wounds. Goodbye, duck. Lost. Like boomalopes in the rain. <laughs> you wonder how much... How... You wonder how much being so sick affects the value of the boomalope. Uh, not that much. It was less than I expected, to be honest. Cool. Now that we have a freezer, I think I'm going to increase the number of meals we make to 24 simple meals, and put fine meals above it do until we have... like, 16 fine meals? I even have an extra bedroom. This one bothers me. Liar, liar. Panther's on fire. I didn't lie about anything. Commander Red. There was no lying here. How about we keep Bionics? 
and also medicine. There was a burned panther, though. That's true, the panther was on fire. Can I paste settings on a shelf before it's built? <gasps> you can! You can place... ...storage settings on a... ...on a shelf before it's built. Now that's nifty! Okay, cool! I think we made really good progress. The trade caravan's leaving. See you later! Goodbye! I gotta say, chat, permanent summer mode is really easy. Where should I keep this proximity detector? Can it be outside? I'm gonna enclose it in the wall. So we can protect it. Its range is not as big as I expected. But I'm putting it here because it kind of covers a wide swath of the entryways to the colony. It doesn't protect this door here, but it gets most of the yard, the outer yard, the inner yard, and the entrance area over here. So we'll get a somewhat early detection. Can we build fire foam poppers? We should probably research fire foam. Fire foam. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to fire foam. Reza is doing the research slowly. With an intellectual ability of three. Does time pass in game by days, months, and years? Yes. Yeah, there are. On the short term, time passes hourly. And there's 24 hours in a day. There are 15 days in a quadrum and four quadrums in a year. And then there's just as many years as your colony survives. Ooh, I'm just remembering that we should plant some heal roots. It seems that we've already worked our way through all the heal roots that we had. My storage is already starting to overflow. I just don't want to go too deep into the mountain right now. This is all thick roof, and underneath thick roof, this is where we tend to get mega spiders. I'm not prepared to deal with mega spiders right now. We have no armor or anything. We could potentially make better weapons. There's an electric smelter that we could use to smelt. I mean, we could make we could make a, a tailoring bench. So this is gonna be a three wide hallway. Oh, and we have rooms that aren't even taken, but those are there nonetheless. We need to make a library, but also a few rooms. We need like a workshop. We need a recreation room. We need a lab. We need a freezer. I've planned a big space for a freezer. And since this is such a hot tile, I... 
I'm actually kind of glad that I built this in a little bit. It's going to make it much easier to keep this cool because it's insulated. Insulated in the mountain. I also see a bunch of components, compacted machinery right here. We can mine the vein. See where the vein takes us. So I made this little containment cell, but we're not really containing anything on account of not having anything to contain. So I think what I'll do is make a little bit of space out here for probably just basic storage. Like we can keep our rocks. I've got rocks in weird spots right now. I don't love it because that can be used as cover. Raiders can use it as cover. And all of this area can be used as cover. Look at these trees. Let's chop them down. We can have trees outside the base, but... Inside the yard? We, we probably don't want them. They're a liability. Now that I built this, I realized that I kind of would like to have swapped. Like, kept the freezer here instead. <laughs> but, you know. Heat wave! That's what I'm talking about! We're on a hot map, and a heat wave has begun. It's getting real spicy out there. Hopefully it stays cool in the freezer. It's getting pretty warm, actually. It's trying. So let's see. I'm gonna do some planning. So if we don't hold this area as a containment cell... We can use it for something else. So I'm thinking this could probably be the freezer. And then our walls would kind of be like this. beast attack. I'm over here trying to plan. And there's a flesh beast attacking. The ground seems to be giving way. The sounds of writhing flesh and cracking bones can be heard from below. It's another little finger spike flamingo thing. Long live the new flesh. I mean, it's gonna hit my traps, right? The last time it just it hit one of my traps and went poof. Literally just poof. Dead. There it goes. It's dead. Still spike trap too strong. I'm gonna turn on auto repair. Long live the new flesh. No. Thanks for the wrist, Stretchy Ronin. Gotta remember to stretchy. This is actually a huge freezer. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's a huge freezer. Just too strong. I try, you know, I work out. <laughs> I work out. Okay. So that gives us a little bit of insulation on the side, which is good because again, we're under thick roof, 
so mega spiders right giving us a little bit of extra wall space and then I'm putting in what could be hallways potential hallways I'm already thinking of weird stuff that we can do in these corners, but... What could this area be? Right here. It could be anything. This could be the recreation room. <gasps> Ooh, I love the new pop-up thing! It's very helpful! Using conversion on Pandorific. Stop walking away! You're so slow! We're down to 22%! I guess we're gonna uninstall this, because there's nothing to contain. Being able to contain one of those flesh beasts would be... probably useful. I think we're gonna turn this into... Over here is probably where we're going to want to put recreation and things. I don't know. I don't know how I want to do it. Really is so much mining. Let's start with that and see how it looks. I can't I can't see how it looks with I've given too many mining orders. I just need to be patient. Or play on 3 XP. Okay, yeah, can this thing be outside? It looks like it can be outside. I'm going to enclose it. For protection. I'm gonna assume it needs a roof. My head hurts. Like, not, not even like a headache. Like my headphones sitting on my head hurts. <laughs> the sensitive head. Maybe we should make a little entryway to the colony here. Ooh. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Good thinking, chat. We could turn this into like a little garden area. Whoa, are we actually out of steel? We are actually out of steel. I didn't think we'd ever see the day. Hmm, yeah, nobody else is very good at mining. Ghouls is getting pretty good at the, at the crop tending though. Very impressive. I think we might need more shelves. It might be time to dig more storage. You are late, Sparkerbuster. Hello. Yeah, you are. Look how late I am. You're doubly late. How are you doing?
Okay, I moved the platform because I thought I was going to do something with that space, but it, it's probably better to have the platform than to not have it, right? We are going to need a night owl. It's always so boring at night when everyone's asleep. All the ducks are asleep. My ducks have heat stroke. The poor things. Roasted duck. I would like it if they didn't get roasted because I... I'm using their eggs for food. If it was that boring, we could hope for a middle of the night raid to spice it up. No, I'm good. Does a barn with a passive cooler work well for the ducks? Yeah. But we'd have to build walls and then enclose them in it. They've made it this far without heat stroke. I'm sure they'll be okay. I'm sure they'll be fine. There are so many potatoes. Oh my gosh. We we are going to need a bigger a bigger storage space. So many potatoes. Hot condition hot hot what hot potato wind condition satisfied. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes achieved. Uh, how many potatoes? 1,633. Potates. And, and that's not even things in storage. Ooh. How exciting. I don't even know that I want to deal with this other... This other... This other... This other grow zone! I don't know that we need it! Rimmel competition. Most potatoes after two years in-game. So one of the hot potato conditions... Was to accumulate, you know, as many potatoes as we could. Once your fishing and sushi mod gets working with 1.5, you're back in. Hopefully, it's sooner rather than later. <laughs> nice, JSOG. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Hello. Nice to see you. Welcome in. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Consuming a fine meal. The finest. Happy Friday. It is Friday. And in some places, Saturday. Gee, we set them on fire right before finishing the world for the hot potato challenge. I, d I don't think that we did because we ended up wanting to be able to count the potatoes. For reasons, I, I don't fully remember. You did get there in the end, JSOG. <laughs> so, I am on... late... today. Because I started very late. I started... about two hours late. But I don't know, chat. If... if I was gonna adjust my stream schedule, this probably be the adjustment. But the reason why I've never I've never committed to the adjustment is because such a big proportion of the community is actually EU. And time zone wise, 
it is very awkward because that means everyone goes to sleep towards like the last hour and a half of the stream and then it gets really sad and lonely talkative streamer with no one to talk to womp womp so i've just never done it i just haven't done it the only other solution would just be to move to a better time zone <laughs> That's... that's it. That's the only other solution. Hi, Malleus. Thank you for the hydration, the wrist stretch, the hello. I hope you're doing well today. After the stream, though, I have to do a workout. I don't remember what kind of workout it is today, but I hope it's not an ab workout. But I should probably do an ab workout. <laughs> They're pretty squishy. I could use a workout. Your wake up time is part of why you want to move. Why is that? When I said earlier that I miss being on East Coast time, that's actually, that's actually why. I didn't realize it at the time, but my stream schedule then was just perfect. I picked a stream schedule that worked well for me, personally. So I think I did like 10.30 or like, no, yeah. No, I think I did like 11 or noon. I think I was starting my stream at 11 a.m. or noon and streaming. But once you move to mountain time or pacific that becomes uh, like 10 a.m or 9 a.m and so for the longest time i've just built up an audience around just that window and it makes it hard what if i want to go back to being an afternoon streamer i guess i'm actually doing that right now but if you move somewhere like Florida, 4.30 would become 5.30 because time zone shenanigans. And so you, you just want to be able to wake up later in the day? If I understand you correctly? Diggy, diggy, diggy! Dig faster! I think she would do this a lot quicker if we had lights in here. We gotta get her some light! You want some lights? Let's get you some lights. Wall lamps. We have a very morbid style of wall lamp too, I like it. Five thirty is way easier than four thirty for whatever reason. Oh yeah, no, I... I agree. There's a big chunk of steel in here. Wait, 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 where are you going? Use that steel to build a light. Right here. There we go. Now we're speeding up. Quickening our pace. A pit burrow has collapsed. That took ages. Do mega spiders respawn after you destroy their hives? Or are they just now unoccupied caves? No, you should really dig this. And then this one. This one, this one. I would like to build a vent. Because this room is really cold, and I would like to cool this area as well. They do respawn. Do they? Diggy, 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 diggy. Jen, do you play Rimworld? I didn't know that.
You think at least. <laughs> I would I would believe it. It's one of your offline games? Wow. <gasps> A transport bot crash. A relationship. <gasps> he is Asuka's son, which means he's Ghoul's Ghoul's Night Out's brother. And also Flamethrower's brother. Flamethrower is dead though. Space is already occupied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get the mod. The mod. An army sergeant named Nelson is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Nelson is from the Aryan Treaty. If you rescue him, he may join freely. Otherwise, he will return home and spread goodwill between your factions. You can also capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes, but this will anger his faction. This is Asuka's son. Scott Nelson. Poor flamethrower. Dead. Yeah, so we have two colonists. Ghoul's Night Out and Flamethrower. Who were both... Colonists. Flamethrower has died though. Hi, Alana! <gasps> Just hype. Just hype! Alana! Oh my gosh! Thank you for the 24 months! Two whole years, Alana. Thank you so much. It's really nice to see you. I hope you enjoy your lurk. Thank you for the incredible support. I hope you're having a great day, too. We just had a transport pod crash. Now sudden! All the way on the other side of the map. Next to a dead monkey. Nelson. He's been shot in the torso. He's a hard worker. Global work speed plus 20%. He's a wimp. And he is nimble. Commander Rod, thank you for the thousand biddies. Just love. Just love. Big love. Thank you so much, Commander Rod. That is super hype. My heart was doing a weird thing. I don't ever stream this late. The sun is like beating through my window. The sun. Nimble wimp equals ultimate bait pawn. I know. I know. I'm not even upset about this combination. I hope they join us. I hope they join us. I'm gonna send... Who's fastest? Does it matter? 4.56 cells per second. Ghouls and stuff. I keep saying... I keep seeing ghouls N, and it makes me think of the... Dead Mouse song, Ghosts and Stuff. Ghosts and Stuff. And I really want to change Ghouls Night Out to Ghouls and Stuff. Ghouls and Stuff. We're okay. Anyways, rescue Nelson. Thank you for the thousand bits, Commander Red. And Alana, thank you for the resub. So, a nimble pawn is really cool. They have extra dodge chance. They're really great in battle, in melee battle, because they, they just, they dodge. They're pro dodgers. And they're wimps. Or, and he's a wimp. Not, not nimble pawns. Just, no, just Nelson. Nelson's a wimp. Which is not the first wimp we've seen today. But, they tend to collapse due to very little damage. And minor pain. Which means they're very good for bait. Because if they get caught, they just play dead. They fall over and play dead. It's basically what a wimp is. They just they just play dead. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Kinoya has died from extreme heat stroke. Oh no! All of the wild feral colon- or <laughs> not colonists, the wild feral uh, pawns on the map have died. I can't believe it. 
heat stroke plus food poisoning equal dead. We're going back to the wake up time conversation. Yeah, I totally agree. It's like 7.30 is way easier to wake up at than 6.30. Similarly, 6 a.m. is worse than 7 a.m. And it's, it's a very big difference. I know that logically it's not, but mentally it is. They're talking about for the cold. You're not surprised they croaked. What a weird looking word. It is pretty weird looking word. And they probably would have still died to heat stroke. Judging. Yeah, they definitely died to heat stroke. 100%. 100% heat stroke. At somebody close this window. It's like it's so bright. If I take off my purple devil horns, I can hide behind my hood. Like a vampire. No proof that I'm not a vampire. Yeah. Vampire mode engage. Perfect. But now the sun is shining on my monitor, and I can see all my fingerprints. Apparently, I touch my monitor a lot. There's fingerprints all over it. <laughs> Why, though? My duck's got the flu. The glare. I forgot to replace their sleeping spots. I moved them because they were awkwardly in the center of the pen. Uh-oh. I hear the power flickering. Where are the stupid things? Looks at the clock. Heckin' late for just times. I know. It is late. But to be fair, Anthoric, I started late today. I started very late. These aren't blocked. Blocked by a roof. <gasps> I did put a roof. I did roof it, didn't I? Oop. Yeah, I started really late. Like two hours. I just, I had a morning. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I just, I had a bad morning and I really struggled with it today because I didn't want to cancel the stream, but I was also just not at all in, in a mental space to be streaming. So I, I just hung out with the dogs for a while, played some Slay the Spire. <laughs> I think I curled up on the couch and slayed the spire for like 30 minutes. Hung out with the dogs. Went outside. <laughs> and then finally was like, okay, I think I I think I can do this. I had to hype myself up a little bit. Here we are. It does feel really late though. And I mean it is late, which is why the sun is shining through my window. Normally, I'm not sitting here when this happens. Hi, Spiffy Ball Guy! How's the room going? It's going okay, actually. It's been super chill. We've gotten... a handful of raids and things, but for the most part, Randy has been... chill. Oops. I've just changed the settings by accident. It's okay, I don't want this stockpile here anyways. Be gone, stockpile. And now that I've uttered those words, I'm sure Randy's gonna show up. To give me something to talk about, but yeah, he's been super chill. It's just all around been pretty dang chill.
You got wrecked on your first Randy Random Anomaly Strive to Survive run. What happened? Looks like you can't w listen or watch Twitch at work anymore. Oh, yeah, that does stink. We miss you. My self-motivation is better than yours. Oh, it was a close one. I, I wasn't sure that I was going to make it today. It, it definitely took a lot of... of, of self-hyping. But the, the reason why I streamed... If I hadn't cancelled on, on Tuesday... And also had a short stream on... Wednesday and also on yesterday... I probably would have cancelled today. But... I couldn't be that flaky this week. Slight flakiness? It, it, it comes with the territory. But that was more like moderate flakiness. You too are low on spoons. <laughs> it's a week. Although I'm really excited to install our new sink. We, we ordered a new sink ages ago, it feels like. And it finally showed up. Can you just take this granite? An eclipse? I thought that wasn't supposed to happen until 2040 something. Two of the spiny flesh dudes attacked and they hit all your characters and all five died from bleeding to death. So you got a man in black. You had two of the spiny flesh dudes? I built traps early and that seems to have made a really big difference. Traps have made a world of difference. You failed to build traps. The only reason why I did it was because the game the game told me to. I mean, it didn't really. But it did mention this void monolith going all twisty and suspicious and said, be prepared. So I got prepared. I built some traps. <gasps> <gasps> Flamethrower! Thank you for the thousand bits! A good break reminded Jez human Jez time. I can't take a break now that there's been a bunch of bits that fell from the sky because we got another support goal point! Yeah! Thanks, Flamethrower! Yay! Thanks for the bits and Commander Red too. Ten minutes ago! BG3 points. It's too hype! You did kill one of those follow you around screamers, though. Follow you around? I don't know that we've seen one of those. You always play on seeds, Spiffy Ball Guy, just new areas. <laughs> oh, if you do that, do the factions move around? Cheer minus 1000. There. Now I can take a break. But I was debating. I was, I was debating what to do with myself because it's like kind of late. I can't see my monitor because one, we ran out of power, but also <laughs> the sun is shining on it. It's so bright. I can't see. I could close the blinds, I guess. Be prepared. Be prepared. Time for the long break. I don't know, is it? We've got a spot. Look at it. It's so pretty. Stop flickering. Stop flickering. The wind needs to blow harder. Made a little gross spot right here. They follow you, screamed at you, and increased the stress of your pawns. I have some batteries. They're right here. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull, you know, like the 12 hour streams that I've been seeing other people do. <laughs> I definitely saw some 12, 13, 14 hour streams from a lot of people. I don't think that's gonna happen. But the stream already went far longer than I thought it would. Are they lithium ion? I think they're just steel. They're just battery. What are components made out of? I mean, steel, but besides that. I'm also starting to feel wiggly. This is usually the time that I, I get on the treadmill and walk and or run. It's wiggle hour. <laughs> I just, I just want to see the colony come together, you know? I just want to see it. Hours flickering though, it's, it's very upsetting. We could build another windmill. Better yet, we could build one this way. If I move the wall in the mountain, I guess we could. It's a bit in the way. build one over here. Oh wow, that's so much easier to see. Thanks for turning the lights on, Randy. Randy turned the lights on. And the windmill started to turn too. It's probably my coolers that are draining all the power. And maybe this proximity detector as well. 75 watts used. These need 200 watts each. And their current power usage is high? Uh-oh. We're draining. We either need more wind or more windmill. Or geothermal power, but I don't think we're gonna have that research anytime soon. Wait, come back. Can you build this first? Monolith study progress. Reza Darkside has had a breakthrough while studying the monolith. She believes the monolith is a conduit for psychic energy connecting to some distant location. However, she isn't sure where or what it connects to. Reza is convinced that by studying more anomalous entities, she can find a way to close the conduit or learn to harness its power. The monolith now provides more knowledge when studied. Just go! Yeah, instead of let's go, just go! The first thing they're gonna try to do is build a roof. Ignore. Ignore the roof. Yeah, what should I have for noms today? Should I make a smoothie? For some reason today, I really want a smoothie. The lights use a bunch of power? I didn't even check the lights, the power on the wall lights. They use 30. Oh, isn't it? I think five. In... The mod. Yeah, that's pretty... That's pretty expensive. I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm just happy it's vanilla. Hmm, vanilla ice cream sounds really good. That is not what I should be eating. <laughs> Soggy. This is a huge, 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 huge vein of steel. Up in here. Emmy says, more! Boop the food. Pizza, tacos. What do you think you want to eat for, for dinner? Rocket Master. I don't have pizza. I could have pizza. Solentry did ask me on break time if we could have pizza today, and I told him no. No pizza. 
so cruel. Indian food? I can't really eat that because... I can't have dairy, and I can't have gluten, and I can't have soy. And everything has dairy or gluten or soy. <laughs> I said no to Pizza Friday. Well, yeah, I gotta, um, I, I gotta eat better stuff. Pizza. <laughs> Solentre is rallying. Next thing I know, there's gonna be pizza on my doorstep. Look what you all did. Look what you did, chat. We had pizza earlier after getting fitted up for new eyes. There is a pizza place. Somewhat nearby that makes dairy free and gluten free pizza. Although it probably has soy in it. <laughs> there probably is soy. The soy is so common. It is. It's in everything. Okay, it's not in everything, but it is one of the most common additives. Emulsifiers, preservatives, additives, doesn't matter. Everybody's asleep. But look, we got the spots for two more windmills. And I think I'm going to build another grow zone behind it for, you know what, potatoes. Potatoes. And then another one right here. Okay, or the same one. All potatoes. It's very low fertility soil. Potatoes are happy with it. Potato plants have a fertility sensitivity of 40%. Low sensitivity means this plant will grow about the same speed in rich or poor soil. High sensitivity means the plant grows slowly in poor soil, but faster in rich soil. So potato plants would be a good choice, or maybe fiber corn. I looked earlier, fiber corn has a fertility sensitivity of 10%. Cotton is 100, we can't grow cotton here. Uh, psychoid plants. 40% we could go psychoid here. Smoke leaf, 100%. Tinctoria, 100%. Strawberry plants, 100%. A grass, 60. So the choices are like potatoes, fiber corn, or drugs. <laughs> we live in the jungle. I don't think we need to plant fiber corn. Uh, potatoes. I'm all about those taters. You emulsify your coffee beans. Butters and pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. You get Hawaii and barbecue for dinner? That sounds great. They had an updated deal including pizza, a side, dessert, and drinks, so you indulge in cheesecake as well. You may pay for it later. Hmm. Maybe. A nerve spiker? I didn't- I didn't even pay attention. A group of, uh, a group from the Treaty of Trabrebo. Trabrebo are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. I did not trade. But they left me a gift. A nerve spiker. This looks like a crossbow. <gasps> looks so cool. A crossbow-like device that throws rough spikes embedded with a paralytic biotoxin. Low damage, but it stuns non-mechanoid targets. Large targets are more resistant to, bi to biotoxin and will be stunned for less time. That is cool. It looks cool. It looks really neat. They just left me a banging crossbow. Unfortunately, nobody here can really use it. Reza could. Oh no. Reza's much better as a melee commend. So is Ghouls. And so is Pandorific. 
This is the perfect place to grow Devil Shand. Isn't Devil doesn't Devil Shand require high fertility? I can't check because. Or do you just mean this map is the perfect place for Devil Shand? Oh my gosh. Here's the thing. People are using the bench. Oh, I know why it's taking so long. I know why this is taking so long, chat. It's because of this ideology. Void study is very efficient. 150% study efficiency. Research though, extremely slow. We research at 25% of the full value. <laughs> of the normal value, I should say. That's why... That's why we're a bunch of rocks. As dumb as a bunch of rocks in here. All we care about it is the void. That's not... It's the opposite of zoom in. Same as tribal coding. The void is the only truth we need. Too true. All right, I cave. I'm gonna build some shelves. It's, it's just, it's so ugly. We do need to give them some better recreation too. They're probably reaching that point now where they will demand better recreation. I can't see a thing, it's so dark. I'm scared of my freezer. Hi, Infinity! Hello, good to see you. Oh, there's so many components right here. I know we're already struggling with power, but I'm gonna build a few more lights. Blocked by a roof. Okay. And then don't forget. It is connected. Okay, great. I'm gonna connect it on both sides. Whoa. Oh, quest expired. Doing infinity. All right. I just really want to know how this is going to look. I like our pet ducks. I like them better when they were ducklings, though, because they were really cute and they made squeaky noises. Now they're adults. But at least they're... they're box-trained. They know to lay their eggs in the box. It's like a cat with litter, but ducks with eggs. Okay, I'm just gonna replace the holes that we make here with some regular walls. Yes, one of my favorite changes in 1.5 is the hidden power lines. It's also you eat the duck eggs. You don't want to eat what comes out of the cat. That is true. Don't want to do that. Unless you're a dog. My dogs sometimes want to eat what comes out of the cat. Which... I just don't understand. To be fair, they kind of want to eat anything that comes out of anybody. <laughs> are hidden power lines vulnerable to attack? They are resistant to damage. They're tougher, but they're slower to build and more expensive. They cost two steel rather than one. Why do dogs do that? I don't know. 
I don't know why they do that. It's gross. Tired and somewhat anxious, but the streams help. You're welcome, Infinity. I'm doing well, and the stream and day's been pretty alright. I've... I had a, a kind of a rough start to the morning, but... I think we turned it around today. Yeah, I think we're maybe good to... Store, man, let's not store steel on these shelves. I forgot about linking shelves, too. all selected. Link settings. Okay, now they're linked? Yeah. Cool. And then we should do the same over here. Link. Oh, yeah, we found the edge of... of the steel. I was worried it was gonna go too far. It was perfectly to the edge of this little area that I dug out. Nice. A cache of valuables... A shard insanity lance. A limited use psychic effector. It overwhelms the target's mind with terrifying perceptual distortions, driving them into a berserk rage. There is a risk of brain damage! This insanity lance is crafted from a broken shard of dark arcno technology. Oh, new lovers. Pandorific tried to attract Reza by exaggerating his own intellectual skills. Reza responded well and is now Pandorific's lover. I seem to have missed the little pop-up about being able to convert Pandorific, though. <gasps> Pandorific was converted to the pain chamber! Does that mean they want a shared bed now? They're lovers? Lovers! Rebuffed me times three. Deep talks times five. Kind words? Disfigured. Reza's disfigured. What happened? Left eye. A scratch from a ghoul claw. That just seems like it'd be... That's pretty metal, I don't know. That seems like a turn-on. Okay, I guess... Our ideology... Physical love, spouse only, and we're very strict about it. This is just the, the prefab ideology. If you select the the basic one and just roll with it. This is what it came up with. The sun is so bright, it's shining like right into my camera, but it seems like it, the camera's okay. Last night you watched the Magic School Bus episode where they learn what eats the stuff that comes out of elephants. <laughs> Exaggerating his intellectual skills sounds like a euphemism or something. <laughs> I should I should put the magic school bus on my list too. Hi Alana, welcome back. Hope dinner was good. I'm I'm doing well. I'm feeling like weird about being on so late. Like, my mental... my mental clock is... is confused. It's a solar flare. All the power's out. All the power's back. You wonder if you like the Magic School Bus. You loved the show as a kid along with Recess. Oh, I, I really liked it when I was a kid, too. I just I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So I'd like to watch it again. So despite the two of them being lovers, they do not want to share a room together because the ideology forbids physical intimacy for those who are not married. A 
sun is so bright. Vampire. You're totally gonna watch the Magic School Bus with the mini? <laughs> the reboot is fun. You feel like they're framing the bus as advanced tech that only appears to be magic. I'm pretty sure the bus is a TARDIS. I didn't know there was a reboot. Is it just called the Magic School Bus still? The Magic School Bus rides again. There's a reboot. Today I learned. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a couple more shelves. I'm gonna put them right here. Yep. I'm iffy about blocking the doorway like this. I, I always am. Because it's so hard to fight in doorways like that. I'm sure it won't cause any problems at any point in time. Link. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. We need to also not store meals. This is just raw food. We've finished bioferrite harvesting. Wow, we're researching all this stuff really quickly, finally, now that we have four colonists. Can you believe it? Electro harvester. No, I feel like we should get... Oh, this tree is not as long as I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Electric inhibitor and shard inhibitor come with entity containment. A sleep suppressor. Prevents fatigue. Bioferrite shaping. A nerve spiker. That's how we got that cool crossbow. Perform a psychic ritual, which deadens a target's psychic sensitivity and temporarily boosts the ritual invoker's psychic sensitivity. The target will suffer brain damage as a side effect. Cool. Skip abduction. Perform a ritual that abducts a random... We're not auto-pausing. Weapon! A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. The proximity detector has alerted us to the presence of a sight stealer! I was... I'm, I'm looking at the research tree. Uh, abduct a random hostile person from anywhere in the world, putting them in a short-term coma for capture. Seems crazy. We can draw a herd of animals, void sculptures, to enhance the quality of psychic rituals. I don't know what we want. Summon flesh beasts? For studying, you say? Okay, I'll research drawing animals. Dane Bamage. The show is not retired. Same wheels eased. You can't take the door. The door is not allowed. You, you can't you can't use the door. Use the spikes. You get this. Oh, back up. They just nope right over the spikes. Hey, come here and help. Let's try to not kill this thing. <gasps> Capturable. Minimum containment strength, 30. So the first time we had one of these, I killed it, and we skinned it for leather because I was very curious about dread leather. It was not worth it. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna capture you. Reza is bleeding out, though. Turning into a sight stealer. Contained. 
Do we have to do to tend to it as well? They look like they can fly. Is that how they avoided the traps? I don't know, but how are we containing this? It looks like we just suction cupped some chains to it. They do have legs. You're right, they do. And they have arms. I guess we had to put a bandage on them. Just the Rimmeled art style. Yeah. Containment strength is 127. We can make this better by making stronger doors. The walls are already about as strong as they're going to get. Without fancy stuff like plasteel. But we could make maybe a security door. It's kind of big. We have, 70, we have exactly 70 plasteel. It's almost as if we're supposed to be able to build one of those. Can I complain for just a moment about how the structure is three wide, but the door is only two wide? Why can't we have a one wide security door or a three wide security door? But I can't... I, do you see the problem? <laughs> Uh. Let's see. Let's put that there. I forgot. I gotta get rid of these torches, too. That's just a waste of our wood. Consuming a fine meal. Yeah, do that, and then... And then... And then, and then come, come in here and move. I, it's not, I can't click. There we go. Yay. Yeah, so why that thing, while well, the thing is asleep. We gotta get rid of the, the security real quick. So that way I can, wait, can I just install the door over the wall? I guess we need to mine this section out, too. Asuka, I'm sorry. You can't go to sleep right now. This thing is incapacitated. Uh, a blight on my potato plants. A blight on your potato plants, shit. Security doors require adjacent walls. What? <sighs> I thought that that included the adjacent walls. It looks like it in the blueprint. Well, now I have weaker walls. I, I feel like this is still going to be stronger than... the wall as well stronger than a normal door so we'll, we'll probably still come out with a with a no, i'm sorry you can't sleep it's awake you have to enclose it door open i'm so sorry oscar there 251 yeah so it, it more than doubled yeah no yeah Yes, I think it more than doubled the strength of the security. Oh, there's a combat supplier. I missed the memo. Now we have a pet sight stealer. Shield belt. Ooh, look at all this stuff we can buy. We're super broke. The Nerf Spiker is worth $10? That's it? Take an auto pistol. Take a wooden club.
Why is everything so expensive? Oh, a visage mask. I want to buy that. Because I know Ghouls wants that. I think. I'm fairly certain. The moral guide wants a required visage mask. Yes. We have tattered apparel as well. Reza. Reza's gear is tattered. A tattered shirt. Maybe one day we'll research something and learn how to make guns. We just built a conduit underneath. Yeah, this is way stronger. We can make... An inhibitor thingy. I think it has to point at the entity. Like this. A ghoul is attacking. A vicious humanoid ghoul is attacking. It is intent on inhuman savagery and it cannot feel pain. Prepare to defend. Alexi Harper. With a corrosive heart. Modified human heart that allows a ghoul to spray corrosive fluid. And ghoul plating. A large... A number of large pyoferra plates have been surgically attached to this ghoul. Alright, there's a ghoul on the loose. I ain't worried. We've got a trade caravan. Wow, can we just have like... Whole waves of ghouls that attack? This is actually like the best group to be here to defend. Maybe one of them will die and leave us a better gun. Oh no! Well, okay. GG traps. <laughs> traps too effective. Can we eat it? I don't think so. But you know what can eat it? The trees. The trees can eat it. The trees feed on the bodies of the dead. And consume their flesh. And we have a harbinger tree forest. Is it a forest if it's only three trees? Can't see again. The sun is too bright! <gasps> Chat, it's been such a long stream! It's been such a long stream today. We need another tree for a four. Est. Hey, there's some silver down here. There's no escape from Rimwald. No, I must escape. I must. I must escape. I... I need to get my step goal today, and I only have 1,500 steps. I need so many more. We also have so many potatoes. Look, my little freezer's done. Actually, it's not. Not quite done. I need to mine out this one last section, and then it's done. Well, sort of. Hi, Jay Alistair. You're sure I can stop at any time. It's not like I'm addicted like the rest of you. I am not addicted. Perfect. Get those steps. I can do it. I know I can. Yesterday, I ended my stream, fell asleep, and woke up, and needed so many steps. <laughs> I got them all, though. Yesterday, Friday, was only 2,000 steps for you. It's, it's so few. You were outside, too. My overall movement has... 
I want to say triple since I got a treadmill. You're definitely not obsessed. Of course not, Alana. Of course not. Of course. Of course not. Yeah, since getting the treadmill, my my overall movement has gone way up. And my fitness as well. I have reached a point where I can now run like two miles. I can run again. If I want. Which TBH is not not often that I want to. But sometimes I'm just I'm in the mood, like I, I gotta run. My inner Emmy comes out, you know, and I just gotta I gotta run. I gotta make a run for it. And what am I running from? A lack of exercise. Not a bad skill if the zombie apocalypse comes. I need to mark this thing for studying, right? Okay, we did. There we go. Now the freezer is... The first iteration of freezer is done. It's a very huge... It's a huge freezer. But I like it. Let me get and build around this. I'm thinking on this side... Actually, this is pretty cool. The way that this mountain juts down all the way to the water, we could probably make like a, a little water tunnel thingy that goes all the way down and connects. And we could have an entrance over here to the Harbinger Forest. Ooh, look at it go. Once we have four trees, it's definitely a full rest. And yeah, so I want to build some stuff over here. I'll probably convert this into something. I'll probably turn this whole area into the colony, which is convenient because the Void Monolith is also here. And the forest is in a nice, nice location, too. And then there's caves. I don't really know what to do with the caves. That's just my backup escape hatch with some cheeky mega spider defense. party. Asuka is throwing a party. Asuka heard that it's Friday and is gonna go party. I think I'm gonna join. IRL though. I don't, I don't have a party to go to. What party? Save the game. Don't load the game. It's been seven hours chat. I think, I think, yeah, I don't know. As my eyeliner started to run. <laughs> I got really sweaty for a little while, but I think the AC turned on. Did I melt? I think I might have melted a little bit. <laughs> melted. Yeah, maybe I'll go I'll go for a run and melt. Wait, how are we having a party out here? There's not even a meeting spot. What are they gathering around? What is the object of this party? What is the focal point of the party? Well, have fun with it. While it lasts, is it a duck duck goose party? Hi, a Legion Breaker. Apparently they were watching the ducks. Okay, now I'll save. They had a good time at the party. <gasps> Wait, one thing first. Ability is ready. Oh, wait, we already converted Pandorific. We already did. To the pain chamber. Okay, well, I'm still gonna save again. It was a good stream, chat. It was a good stream. I'm happy that I showed up. Even though I was two hours late, I'm, I'm still okay with it. I'm cool with it. I was two hours late. We streamed three hours later than normal. Welcome to the evening stream. The rare evening stream. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time too. Thanks, YouTube. I'm gonna stop the YouTube stream here. <laughs>